hundred percent of the time. So, yeah. Um, right. I think we all should be um, live now. Let me just check the sound. We all. I'm alive. Yeah, and you're all in the right place. We've got um, Newman, big Newman, peering out of. Um, Mr. Pickles Square. I might change it halfway through. We, we'll see. Uh, one, two, three. We'll see what actually happens with that. Let's up your volumes a bit so we're all about the same. Um, yeah. I just. <laughs> it's, it, Medivac, all of a sudden you turn around and you seem to be joining up the dots on your space picture behind you. Right. Right. I'm eating marshmallows and every now and again I chuck one to Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it looks like you're grabbing stars and then yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> As if, oh. It's a ve very, very cool trick. Very cool trick. <laughs> I can't eat marshmallows. Well, I, as a vegetarian, I can't eat marshmallows. Um, well, hang well, on, what, what are they made of? I'm not um, entirely sure what they have. They have um, gelatine in them, but they can have. What? No, that's jelly. You say, so you, so you don't eat gelatinous cubes. Uh, yeah, I don't. Know what it is? Uh, yeah, <laughs> gelatinous cubes. Yeah, I don't, don't eat those. <laughs> I, I was talking to um, um, made of? Rodney okay. Lear, who wrote classic fantasy for Mithras, which is Mithras in a D&D sort of like world. But mm. the interesting thing is he has all the D&D monsters in the book converted to Mithras, including the rust monster. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't almost affect me at all. So. Uh. <laughs> you know, that is the worst creature ever oh i, I hit it I, I hit it oh crap <laughs> <laughs> it's when it comes around the corners and the fighters all run to the back of the yeah. party. take off their armor and fight to one yeah, side just, we'll just, <laughs> just yeah. throw your armor at it i love yeah. us monsters it's my favorite sort of like monster um ever um so i thought i might make one appear in the next um adventure um sometime so welcome back everyone it's been Sorry, uh, a, fine by me. it's been a long <laughs> long time um we've had various things going on um, but we're all back now mr pickles is here and um but he's got a bad back so he's lying down on the floor with a long <laughs> stick that he's jabbing at the screen for World 20. <laughs> so if he sounds a bit distant at any point, then you you know you know what's why. Uh, yeah. Uh, apart from that, we're all back, and we're of course playing M Space um, Mithras in Space, which is exactly what it sounds like. The Mithras rules um, converted to a sci-fi role-playing game, and the party are currently on a job for a very notorious hunter called Mort. Um, he has a longer full name as well, which we'll probably come to a little bit later on. Um, the party are out in the desert world um, of Arid. Arid's the main city and they're out um, accompanying and trying to protect Mort um, on a bug hunt. And we left the party at the last adventure just been woken up in the middle of the night with female screams coming from outside. But before I tell you anything else, I'm going to allow the players an opportunity to say who they are and who they will be playing tonight. And as always, we start we start from the horizontal positioned Mr. Pickles. Mr. Pickles is definitely here, and that is probably me. I'm not an imposter. It's it's all good. Uh, I play Zach Newman. I don't know why I put this, but he's a new formula human, whatever that means. He's an ex-law enforcer, the actual facts of the matter. Um, he's all about justice and delivering, uh, delivering justice onto those who are making trouble and committing crimes. Uh, there's points where he seemed like he could be a sadist, but he definitely isn't. He's just very much, <laughs> if, you, if you're... Well, if if you attack people, he'll attack back. But he's not like a, a vicious killer or anything. That said, his weapons that he commonly uses are uh, <laughs> a stun baton, 
uh, with a lot of electricity in it. Uh, he likes revolvers, and he also has his bloody snail shotgun because if he shoots it with shoots you with it, then you're going to be crawling away, leaving a trail of blood. Other than that, he's just a tough guy. He's I like to think he's built like Mark Wahlberg or Bruce Willis. He's not particularly large, but he is very strong and fairly focused on what he wants to do. He's friends with a number of people. Uh, most of them are military, but he also saved a rich journalist, Angel Bright, last Ooh, uh, yes, last that. adventure. Yeah, as one of his contacts. So he texts a lot of his friends and whatnot in the background of what's going on. He's also got some sleight of hand, and that's not really relevant. So I'm going to throw the microphone over to Captain Kangaroo. Hey everyone, I'm Captain Kangaroo. As you can see, Mr. Pickles gave an intro that could only be described as took after taking a full shelf of pain meds. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. he, he said all of those things all together, but um, it's pretty impressive. Anyways, uh, I am playing Arthur Hammond. Arthur Hammond, he's the, uh, I, I always say the word jack of all trades, it's three words. Um, he's, you know, he's there to kind of just fill in any spot that the team might, might need. Uh, he creates robots. He create. he's an engineer at the same time. He's able to um, Great different items uh, based on what he feels like the group might need at that time on their adventures. Uh, he's also a really smart guy, but he's uh, definitely a little older. He's a um, little, has little gray whiskers all across his face. Um, but uh, he's still <laughs> nimble. You know, he's nimble. He's a nimble guy. All right. That's that's all that matters. Um, but besides that, I'm going to keep it simple and light and get it and throw the microphone to Medivac. Thank you, Captain. I'm Medivac, and I play James Minsk. He's the sort of person you'd meet if you're honoured, um, who likes to fly a starship but doesn't have one at the moment. He's very charismatic. <laughs> um, he, he, he just he likes to stay alive, and he'll pretty much do anything in his way to stay alive. But he's, he is incredibly loyal as well, in a sense, uh, to his crew and his, his compatriots. Um, he does have the gift of the gab, as we call it over here, so he can talk his way out of situations, but then again, he can talk himself into situations, so it does go both ways. Um, he's, he's very handy at shaking hands and then blasting people because there's a little pop out hand blaster. If he shakes with your left, you're generally <laughs> dead, with your right, you're all right. Okay, um, he's he has a little droid that goes with him called Purdy, and we'll get to her in a second. Um, and, and she's the ship's um, um, first aid droid. Um, and oh god, <laughs> etiquette et 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 droid. Sorry, I was stumbling then for a minute. See, this is this is what almost a month does. To you. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, he's, he's like he's not very good in a fight. He's not very good at fifty fifty cups. I can't talk. But she's done. <laughs> um, and he, he does tend to have he's got an attack called slap attack um, it's like when you see two people who can't fight and then she's like that, that's James Minsk he's, he's that kind of guy he has lots of contacts as you might have um, uh, gathered because he's a very charismatic person he likes to talk to people um, he has uh, Jody Jacks who he goes to quite a bit um, and he also talks to a few of the people who uh, he just has as passions at the moment, but he may do soon. We shall see. And with that, I shall pass on to Purdy, so, our in-house droid. Yeah, so Purdy is a, a robot. Um, she is an expert in medicine, first aid. And after the last experience role happened she is now learning more and more about politics and loves loves to regale the party whenever she can on the various inside dealings and the spin doctors understanding and traits and um the campaigns from across the world um yeah she comes to the party just as a, a the medic um, just to keep the party alive. And she has some things like senses and etc. as well. So I thought just to get our minds back in um, to the game, what I'll do is start to regale the synopsis of this story so far, but leave out some blanks 
where people can um, just speak up if you can at that point and tell, shout out the missing information. So the um, the party are on Arid, um, which is um, a planet that has um, one star port in it. And it's a rather desolate planet, very much like... Um, the planet that Luke Skywalker goes to, Tatooine, rather like that. Um, so it's a planet that has various ex-mining places. It's been robbed of its ore for some considerable time. It's a uh, generally a, an okay back end, out of the way planet uh, in a solar system that has very limited. Um, engagement from core which is sort of like the main empire company that controls the stars the party have been hired by a business man um, whose nickname is mort but for a start of a 10 what's his real name Monty no, Percy Marmaduke first. Smythe. That's right. Yes, Monty I've, I've got Percy Damn. Mar night, Marmaduke night. Smythe. I've, I've got Mort here. Is her K and O B. It's what? A K and O B. Because he, he was really annoying, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. And what what's um Mort's personal secretary called? Lucy May. Lucy May, Lucy yeah. Lucy May, who yeah. is personal oh, secretary yeah. to Mort, um, likes to look nice on and drape herself over his shoulder. Um the party have been hired by Mort to look after him as he goes out hunting various animals. He actually has um, two armoured vehicles, three like big jeeps um, that he carries with him with personnel of about um, four to six people in each gym, um, jeep. The party are bringing their own car and hover car that Minx drives. And on the board, um, this is Minx vehicle down um, here. And this is the party's um, tent, I think it is. Um, so what were the three, what are the three animals that Mort would Let like to come? A dunker, a ragwood, and a spiked head worm. Brilliant. Yes, dunkers are sort of like a um, a herd animal, mainly herbivores. They're a bit like a pack animal that goes around, a bit like a reptilian form of an ostrich. And they encountered those last time. Um, the party were quite shocked when Mort decided to take them out with a grenade launcher. Oh, yes. And the, the party managed to um, save him and Minsk managed to save his vehicle as well as he rode in front of the Dunkers mm. to try to protect them. And um, good old Mort let loose his grenade launcher, but Minx managed to swerve the car slightly. Did it fly towards um, Newman as he was out the window? Uh, I think he, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Newman caught it. something. New, Newman actually caught it and took it <laughs> somewhere else. Um, so they actually managed to take some photographs of Mort with these dunkers and he was very happy. And they set off um, on the trail of a ragwug. And they got very ex excited because it seemed to be going in a general direction of um, into the desert and it might be going say to um its lair or somewhere a little bit more exciting however night was drawing in and the party sat settled down um for the night mort regaled them with exploits of his hunting in the past and what you can see in the front of you are the three jeeps um the party's car and tent and the big x's are like lights they're like if you remember um they brought like um generators um that were humming away and keeping everything lit and everything uh, on a nice um even mm. keel um everybody head headed off to bed and 
just after midnight, the party were awoken by screams out of the tent. And that is exactly where we ended it last time. So we're going to dive straight into the action. And don't forget to click on your characters. Can you just make sure that you can move your characters, your tokens? I can. I can. Brilliant. Okay, so first things first, just as you all wake up, and we'll come to what you're actually um, wearing, what you actually sleep in, because it would be interesting to see what um, armour people have got on. Um, before we go um, any further, let's roll some initiatives. Um, so don't forget to click on your tokens, and then we can have some initiatives um, inside the, um, the turn order. And then I can start rearranging them. Oh, look. Oh, Mr. Hammond, look at you. And the combat expert is down at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Zach on the floor as well? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. So you start stretching. You sort of like hear the screams from outside and all of you um, wake up simultaneously. However, it's Hammond that bursts into action first. Mr. Hammond, what would you like to do? Um, I'm going to uh, activate my comm and activate my uh, two drones to initiate perimeter um, protection. Okay, so it would be assuming that you're not sleeping with your communicator in your ear or on your arm. So, yeah, yeah, so on 22, you sort of like grab those things and whack them on and sort of like boot everything up. And mm -hmm. that takes 22. So at the end of round um, turn one, your communication will be in place and will be syncing with the drones. Um, okay. M Minsk, you're next up on 17. What would you like to do? Mm, I am indeed. Um, Minsk, hearing us a lady scream, oh. um, will jump out of bed. He he doesn't sleep in his armour, clearly, um, but he always sleeps with his... Um, Don't say anything. <laughs> I am living wrist, in mortal fear. And, uh, <laughs> with his wrist, his wrist blaster on because he's a little bit paranoid that way. Um, <laughs> I just have visions of his, him turning over in bed and shooting. Shoot himself. <laughs> no, he, he's got to a, 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 yeah, I know, but a specific thing to Even do. Even when he's with the ladies. Well, you never know, do you? <laughs> Seriously, that's, that's the main time to have it on. Right, um, I'll take your word for it. Um, so yes, it, he will jump out of bed. He'll, he'll see his clothes on the floor. He'll look at a tent flap. He will run to the tent flap and stick his head out and have a look. Yeah. Okay then. Um, so just at that point, we'll finish the um, round off. Um, Purdy, I can't remember where Purdy is. Does she sleep with you, or is she left in the car? Um, I would prefer her to be left in the car, not annoying me, so I can actually go to sleep. So it makes sense. Yeah, um, that that sounds like a. a well, a yeah, she, she would be charging, wouldn't she? From yeah, the car. so she's yeah. just sucking the life out of your battery in your car, um, your hover vehicle, Minsk. Uh, so no. um, she, um, as your communication comes online, um, Hammond, she um, comes out of sleep mode and um, sort of like um, becomes part of the communication uh, array and just sort of like utters, um, she sees that you've come on and she sort of like says, oh, Hammond, um, James, Arthur, sorry, Arthur, um, is there an issue at all? And then Zach, you are awake as well. I've what? heard a scream, so I'm grabbing for my shotgun. Shotgun, yeah. And are you off out or staying in? Uh, probably moving right behind everybody, because the goal is to grab the shotgun and then go 
kill the mercenaries that have obviously invaded our camp. Okay, so you... I'm going to do it in an undershirt and some shorts. Yeah, so you grab your shotgun and you... Um, Minsk is there um, with his... Poking his head out of the flap of the tent. So you can either poke your head out as well, or you can just, you know, go through to move round Minsk and go outside. Um... Well, I'm having flashbacks to some mercenaries that killed us all, so I'm going to, like, lunge right out there, ready to kill. Okay, then. Um, so so when um, Minsk and Newman, when you um, step outside, you see uh, a very strange sight. Um, near this woman um, here, that you can see in the middle, just by where the um, electronic fire was. Um, this woman, sort of like a holographic camping fire, this woman um, seems to be in almost like just shorts and T-shirt of some description. And she's widely flaying her arms around, um, screaming like anything. And it's only when you start to look a little bit closer that you notice she has various creatures on her. Um, they seem to be um, almost like covering her and crawling all over her. They appear to be um, approximately the size of a hand okay that's the general um size of them they seem to be crustacean like like crabs um like seaside crabs and but they appear to be a lot more nimbler so they're moving a, a lot they're not all going sideways backwards and forwards they seem to have much better movement but just as you see and the the um the lights and the generators are still on, so there's no need to worry about light or anything like that. You notice that instead of pincers, they seem to have a, a foot or an arm or a leg that ends in a sharp um, oh, yeah. needle, sharp thing. Um, it's probably thicker than a needle. It doesn't look like hypodermic syringes, but it's definitely pointed. And you can see as you come out that the reason that she is screaming is that these um, crab-like creatures have attached themselves to her in various places. So they're sort of like crawling up her legs, onto a chest, on a shoulder, on a head. But every now and again, they seem to almost like pierce the skin with one pincer to sort of like get a good hold and then raise the other one up and go Tang! and sort of like pierce the um, skin again and that's what you can hear that's what's causing her screams um, over here you can notice that this is another woman who's um, coming out and she's screaming as well um, but not because she's being attacked not at all, but because on the ground, come right. Oh, can, can somebody talk? I can talk right. Brilliant. Now. Okay, then. So, due to our current financial situation, <laughs> um, we we have to do a, a weekly purchase of Zoom and OBS and everything like that. And sadly, you know, since I've gone part time at my job, these things just happen now. We can't actually <laughs> cause the um, the actual uh, location of anything. Um, I don't normally do um, channel points redeeming, but you can have a stretch, kitty t cat, clickety cat. Here's your stretch. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Can you hear that on Zoom or not? Um, we did, yeah, we definitely heard it. Sneaky in wells. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> so somebody said that this stretch sounds quite sexual at one point, so I tried to avoid playing it. Um, right, okay then. I'm not too I'll sure. Agree with that. Uh, say again, sorry. I'll agree with that. Really? 
<laughs> it's it not felt very sexual. It's not meant to be sexual in any sense of the word. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> Sneaky in wills. Yeah, that's because of sneak. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was yeah. like, hey, he probably has a little bottle next yeah. to his computer. Was sneak, and that's the only thing that came to mind but when I heard the words. The, interest- the, the interesting thing about this is that I can't actually drink sneak because it's full of caffeine and it sets off my facial neuralgia. So in here, there's water and Robinson's summer fruit juice. <laughs> but Robinson. Say again, sorry. Robinson. You can't. Double strength, a real bargain. Okay, then. So I'm not too sure where we left off. Um, but just quickly, the party have just come out the tent. This woman is covered with um, crab-like creatures about the size of a hand that seem to be um, stabbing her with things. And this um, woman here is running with uh, a group of them following uh, uh, behind them. And when I say a group, I'm probably thinking 10 or more. And they're all sort of like coming over the top of each other. And they seem to be quite frantic. Um, so we've come back up to the top of the um, round. And we'll go to turn um, two. So, yeah, Hammond, you're up. You're on communications now. Purdy has checked in. Um, Morning, I'll Arthur. have my... I don't care about Purdy. Um, I, I, I'm going to activate my uh, my security bot, my security bot, and my surveillance drone. Um, yeah, where are they um, already in orbit um, around the camp? Whereabouts would they have been left? Did you... I would imagine. I, I would if I you know, there's no point having a surveillance drone if they're not surveilling the area. So I would imagine they're already out. Yeah, okay then. So you sort of like connect um, into them. So you have a choice now. You can either um, use your action to take in their feed to see what's happened, or you can issue the same command to both of them or one command to one of them, if that makes sense. Um, I want to see the feed the surveillance drone is getting. Yeah, oh. so the I imagine that the surveillance drone is um, quite high up and mm. you can sort of like see down um, onto the camp and even switching to infrared, you can see that there's more of these crab-like creatures um, approaching the, the camp. It doesn't look like these these two little packs of them are the same ones. From your vantage point, you can see that there seem to be groups, puddles of infrared um, converging mm-hmm. on the camp um, as you um, approach. You still have your free action for this round if you wish to communicate to anyone. Um, I'm going to try to communicate uh, that to my team. If And if, if we're... On the same communication channel as everyone else in the camp that'd be great too but if not i think um, you're actually on a separate one um okay. because i think if i remember rightly you set it up so you had a private one that was out of theirs just so you mm. could just so you could bad yeah. mouth them. exactly yeah we did <laughs> yeah, that, fits, that fits my typicalness yeah yeah okay then um so just um it's up to you guys i'm quite happy whatever you go with. minsk and newman do you have your communicators on i don't think uh that newman would but i mean he's oh. like uh, like feet away from from I can, I guess, instead, I'll just shout it out. Yeah, That's yeah. More I, 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 I don't. I mean, I mean, Minstrel sleep with his with his wrist. Um, but on, not but his communicator. Something in his ear would be like, yeah, yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah. So, Hammond, what would you like to um, shout? Remember, you're limited to about five words. So more don't... are coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More are coming. Okay, 17 Minsk. Um, you see Newman outside. You sort of like got your head out. You can see um, the woman f- at the far side running. She's running, just so you know, in um, sort of like this direction, if that makes yeah. sense, um, um, with these crabs behind her. Right, okay. Um, seeing this... Um... Minsk will have a little bit. You, you might see if it was 
if it was really light, you'd see the colour sort of drain from his face as he's these, these creatures run across after her, and he will just flick his wrist, and and um, his blast will pop out. Um, yeah, that's what they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> um, can, can I take a pot shot or? Yeah. Um, did you notice that the um, icon for measuring has changed? Oh, I hadn't. It's like a little oh, ruler. Wow. I've seen the the the, the magnifying glass has changed, but it's got a whole different. Rulers don't measure what. So you, you can see it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, roll your, um, you can take this flicks into your hand and, yeah, take mm. a pot shot at my at my loads of crabs. Oh, my life. I started to go on. Um, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> let me just um, assign this. Uh, where's my, that's what we need it assigned to. Um, so yeah, you, um, take a pot shot. These oh, ones. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Um, let me just, uh, bring up my character sheet. So I've got it over here. Um, yeah. So you, um, fire, uh, a shot. Um, into them and yeah um, they they don't know it's coming so they don't disperse or anything they seem very much intent on the the fleeing woman um, so yeah you you can use a special if it's appropriate in this situation mm -hmm. um, things like choose location probably yeah. has no meaning now but for example if you get a crit then you could apply magic um, maximum damage. Um, so if there's something that you think, oh, this this special will apply in this situation, then by all means um, use it. If not, um, whack on some damage for me. Uh, the only one that possibly would might be, as I hate to say, like a press advantage, but does that work with blasters? Um, it's more like. Um... I, I think suppressing fire, isn't it? Sort of thing. Yeah, I think the um, the issue would be they can't, um, they won't respond with their animal no. instinct. But I will yep. take it that um, it's, it's more of a sort of a, a, a shot, and maybe they disperse backwards a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Or so. I'll delay eating the woman because of your press advantage um, for this turn, yeah. you know. So, yeah, so do, do some damage oh, for me. Here we go. 1d8 on it. Oh, gosh. Two points. Um, how many? Two. Oh, two, yeah. Two, two points for this blaster it means, like, 50 ordinary points normally. Yeah, okay, then. So you <laughs> sort of, like, firing, and you manage to press advantage. So how I see it is that she's probably running, and a bit of them gets um, close, and you sort of, like, pop off your shot, and you sort of, like hit a couple of these crabs out the way and probably just the ones that are about to grab her leading the pack and you manage to pop them off and scatter them something so they can't attack her this this round um yes um purdy says arthur is there something you wish me to do don't, um, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> yeah. can't say it then. Um, and Newman, what would you like to do? You've got two packs. This one is um, covering a woman. Um, these you've just seen, seen Minsk fire a, a laser shot out, a blaster shot, and disperse some of the um, the crabs. Um, what what would you like to do? You've also heard the communication from. Um, Hammond um, as well. Um, I guess my question is, for the woman that's being covered in them, are they primarily like crawling on her or are there a bunch on the ground around her that are preparing to crawl on her? Yeah, both. Um, so she's virtually um, standing still at the moment, whirling around. Sometimes a, a, one of these crabs um, falls off 
Other times they don't, and as one falls up, they crack, and you can just hear a screeching every time one of these pincers, um, so like goes in, and you can see that she's got um, lots of puncture marks um, on her, and you can see even through her t shirt and her shorts, and on her bare legs, they're sort of like um, pools of blood um, trickling down. You it, she seems to be bleeding quite um, profusely at the moment. Well, um, <laughs> Newman <laughs> is half a, half asleep, so he's running on instinct, and his instinct is to try and do an accurate shot at the ones on the ground to try and blow several of them to bits without hitting her. Okay. Ideally, okay then. So if you if you hit then then that's fine um remember you are firing into combat um so it'll be a hard um to a hard skill roll in order to hit them but if you do hit then you just hit the crabs um if not then you know it's um it could be anything okay um yeah i assumed it'd be hard so here's my shot of doom half asleep newman pa pow Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and throw a luck point out there to re-roll. <laughs> we, um, Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, yeah, okay Ooh. then. Re-roll away. That would not it's be 98. 93. 93. Yeah, 90, I'm going 98. Oh! No, it was still... Oh, oh, oh no! Oh! <laughs> well, fate is not in my hand today. Okay, so because it's so close, it's not going to be as disastrous um, as it could have been. I mean, one point away, that's not uh, much as well. It's just out of interest. You know, there is a loot card that allows you to adjust your score by five either way. So that would... Yeah, so um, Newman, you fire your shotgun. Um, can you do me some damage, please? Gladly. You're not getting um, a... Oh, yeah! Oh! Ow! Six, six, four. <sighs> Who's losing to us? <laughs> right. Um, this is the law. Okay, then. Um, so you blast um, your shotgun um, at this mound um, of um, crabs and everything and um, around the woman. And you sort of like blow it with considerable um, force. And it, the, you notice that the woman and the crabs um, almost like fall to the ground. And you see that there's um, not a lot of movement there. Your, um, what was loaded in your gun? Uh, I don't think I have any special ammo. This is just uh, stuff that maybe Hammond made for me. Okay, so a nice scatter shot. Um, I presume as much, yeah. Yeah, um, so it sort of like wax into her and she falls down to the ground. And you can see that some of the um, crabs are sort of like on their back. Um, some have lost some legs, but um, it looked like it was a, quite a nice shot. You looks like you've taken out um, both maybe the swarm and um, the girl. Um, you're, Double kill. You're, you're not um, too sure. Um, just to let you know, at this point, these have moved um, here. Okay, because they're uh, moving um, uh, on their turn and they always go after all of you. And and just to let you know, um, Purdy, uh, or Purdy will say something in the next, um, in next round. And um, just, no, is this, yeah, so we're coming up to round two now. And we're back up to the top, so action points being refreshed. And Hammond, you're up first on 22. What would you like to do? So <clears throat> my idea is going to be a little off kilter a little bit. Um, but I don't know. I think, I think it might work. Um, yeah, just, just hear me out. Do you th is there in, in, in the – it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out something that's 
non-lethal but might work enough to where it would help get them off th these people um is there a in any of the vehicles um like a it would be like a, a fire extinguisher of any kind um a tread is there something like like an insight roll i can roll to see if the vehicles which are you know some of the military-esque vehicles would have well, a fire uh, extinguisher uh, built yeah you them? you can um roll your insight roll uh um yeah go for it yeah i'm just thinking i kind of trying to think of outside the box of this one um it's more i i'm going to you can roll it because i think it's more would you know that there's one there? Have you seen it yeah. before, et cetera? Yeah, so roll your insight roll. It's a good idea. You, you don't remember seeing anything. There could be one there um, from your vantage point high above. Um, mm. You don't have any um, X-ray visions or anything like that, but they did seem quite tough. Um, Minsk, do you have a, a fire extinguisher in your hover car? Um, no, I, I, I don't think I do. Right. The other thing you that said? Hammond they might have rather than... Um, it's, it's more like a suppression system. Yeah, a mm -hmm. fire suppression mm -hmm. system. Um, okay. They probably have something like that. But that'll be in their cars, right? Yeah, it, they it's, might it's do. It's built into yeah. the car, yeah. So right, goes, I'm going to run... Psh! I'm going to run to this car over here. Um, okay, then. Um, and see if, see if I can find something that might help. Uh, yeah, okay, then. Get these, so, uh, as a non-lethal measure. So you um, you get up and uh, you dis disconnect your vantage point from high up because otherwise you'll be running all over the place. So you're back in your normal sight and you, you mm -hmm. come run over to um, that um, Jeep. Um, that's on 22, 17, Minsk. You're up. You can um, take another shot at these if- I, you... I was thinking exactly that. Is it that go inside and get dressed? <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, please go in and get dressed. <laughs> yeah. I'm in my tiny, tiny whitey stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, so, yes, I will. I'll do another shot at them. Nice. A um, bit more controlled this time. You Let's hope. see how we go, we hope. Not so much. No. But then again, I will take it as... Not the best rolls today. No, but they've run past this pile here, this this, this woman's body here. So yeah. I obviously to miss so no that, that's me done. yeah okay so you t uh, another shot um comes off and um purdy comes over um communications or just talks and they say she says gentlemen we seem to be under attack from mite crabs sorry crab mites mm -hmm. and then she um starts to um that's all she gets out of her five words, but you notice that she then starts to rabble on uh, about um, <laughs> what crab mites are. And you hear her just sort of like going off. Um, Newman, you're up on 13. Um, what, what's the uh, status of the, the swarm that's on the lady? Is the, Are the majority of them still biting her? Or? No, it, from where you've looked once you've shot it down um they seem to either be biting each other um or turned upside down she's very still um as well um they don't seem to your nice scatter shot seem to have um taken maybe her but also the the swarm that was on her down okay i would like to use my free action to shout um very loudly of course um purdy get over here okay and um, would okay, you yeah, like to do works. anything else on your action yes um my primary action i'd like to shoot at the swarm that's chasing a lady and if i can i'd like to be walking forward as i do it maybe a few okay, steps then. But yeah good. okay then so these are not in combat thanks to minsk's um press advantage shot um but they are getting close so if you don't manage to keep them at bay 
then, you know, things might get nasty in a second. Um, yeah, um, roll your to hit roll with your shotgun, with your bloody snail shotgun. I'm going to teach them about what it means to follow the law. Pa-pow. Oh, Ooh, there's a crit oh, there. Where was this a minute ago? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. So you can nice. press ad, uh, advantage uh, as well if you wish, or you, if you want to do something else. It's just a standard roll, so you've got a special that you can play with if you wish. That's probably what I'd like to do, is, is aim to prevent them from catching... Uh, this lady yeah okay then so taking um using um minsk's tactics and um, do some damage for me this is when i'm gonna get a three pa pow oh 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 pretty close yeah, yeah pretty is. close to a three <laughs> um uh, yeah and um the, yeah you um blast out your shotgun and you seem to um take out um, the majority of the um, swarm um, of um, crab mites as it's coming to them. There seems to be one or two that you missed and they're sort of like, um, just sort of like fumbling around. They they got um, concussed by the um, the shot. At the, this is the end of um, the first, turn and this is when um things start to happen um in the camp so the um first thing that you notice is that there seems to be as you come to your um the vehicle um hang on let, let, there you go um Hammond, you notice that um, there's some people coming out of the vehicle. Um, there's people coming out. Um, Mort um, is up to, I'll just put him on as um, this character because we, um, him and um, they're up here coming out of this um, vehicle. And uh, uh, so, like coming out, it's Lucy Mays um, with him, who's doing her normal um, screaming act. Um, but you also notice um, coming in there and here and here. Um, more of these um, crab mite swarms and they seem to be almost like converging in um, on the um, camp from those um, three directions um, if if anybody would like to make a use an action to use an insight well i can give you more information um, when it's your turn um the people out seem to have light blasters out um there seems to be um they seem to be coming out with um weapons drawn um apart from mort mort doesn't have a light blaster He's got his rocket launcher, grenade launcher um, out and it's just sort of like oh, no. he's down on one side. He, he sort of like stands up. He says, oh, my giddy out and sort of like brings it round um, to bear. Um, he seems to be pointing generally in this direction, Minsk. At this swarm down here. Give it a shot. Say again, yeah. <laughs> but we're supposed to protect him, aren't we? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can, can I just shoot him for his own safety? <laughs> yeah. Just, just uh, we're going to call that um, swarm four. Uh, this swarm is three, and then I'll just move this down so I can call this swarm um, five um, as they. Um, come in yeah so they're converging on the camp like i say hope that nothing can somebody talk just to see whether or not i've got your sound no. i can yes talk. 
Perfect. No. Right, fingers crossed. Everything is working at the moment. I'm just moving that over from Mr. Pickles a little way. Um, yeah, so hopefully, hello everyone. Now, fingers crossed, everything is actually working. Um, if this stream all of a sudden crashes, then I honestly do not know what to do. So I've recreated everything. And it was interesting that the other two scenes, additional scenes that I had also was crash were crashing. So if not, my normal scene that I do my afternoon and morning streams on were absolutely fine. So we can always swap back to that. So, yes, welcome. Um, welcome to M Space. So, M Space is literally Mithras in space. So, currently, what we do is that we spend some of two adventures in the fantasy setting, and then we swap to the sci fi setting for two adventures, and then we swap backs and forwards. And that's how we're playing at the moment. So, you've joined us in the sci fi setting. It's actually um, the third session. Um, we didn't get much done last week because due to technical difficulties, but it's a third session of a series of um, scenarios or one adventure that's called It's a Bug Hunt. And you can probably see from the screen that there are plenty of bugs on the screen and it's uh, we'll just say there's a bit of an attack going and that's where we finished it last week we we did get some of it done which i will talk about in a moment but before we go any further i'm going to allow the players an opportunity to say who they are and who they are playing tonight and yeah we start off as always with you mr pickles Oh uh, yeah, I'm Mr. Pickles, and I play Zach Newman. He's our team's main gunner, I'd like to say. He's very much a combatant kind of character. He's tough. He's very, very focused on delivering justice and laying down the law on people who are breaking the law. Um, I'd like to imagine he's built sort of like Bruce Willis or, or Mark Wahlberg. He's not very big, but he is quite strong. He's very fond of using his stun baton and his shotgun, which I've called the bloody snail shotgun, because if you blow off somebody's legs, they'll be leaving a snail trail of blood. <laughs> He's... Is that why? I, th I thought I've explained that a few times. I've never heard that before. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a I like to think there's an advertisement in universe that that Newman saw and he thought, yeah, that'll lay down the law. That will lay down the it. law. Fantastic. he's got a bit of streetwise skills um he's a gunner if we're on a spaceship but otherwise he's not very techy or science oriented that's more of our teammates here and with that i'm going to chuck the microphone on over to captain kangaroo teach us about science oh wow what yeah hey everybody i'm play um captain kangaroo who was playing arthur hammond tonight um he's definitely the toughest one in our group um he's definitely the one that's definitely more like a hands-on kind of guy He's, uh, you know, if I were to describe him, it's probably like, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger in, in size. Um, he's known for uh, busting out the big guns, you know, both Sigmund and Freud. Uh, he's really, <laughs> really hands on, but also he specifically is good at punching things to start working uh, in a technological sense. Um, but no, uh, he, as you saw in the last, uh, last, before signal uh um and will's things start crashing we saw the last session that he uh, was was very good at doing nothing um he i think the only thing he was able to do is start his uh robots into activating and then run to a car so as you can tell he's very very resourceful um <laughs> but besides that i i've all i have to ask what yeah your token, he has a scar across the bridge of his nose. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. And is there is there a story behind that? Oh, there's a story of a lot of stuff. Um, his hair is not even naturally gray. It's 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 pitch black, but he grays it up because otherwise people are like, "Wow, you dye your hair." It's like, no, I don't. I, I'm just. I have <laughs> I have really good genetics. <laughs> so, but people don't trust him. Don't believe him because he looks way too old to have that good thick right. luscious hair so he has to dye it gray uh Great. so that people don't question it um and the scar that's actually that's a beauty mark because otherwise like hey it looks a bit like, like an axe 
axe. It looks like an axe mark. <laughs> it just got whack. Into it might have been self inflicted just so that way, you know, the other boys have a chance with the ladies. Um, I, I'm just waiting was... for Medivac to take a mouthful of food that we're going to pass. <laughs> out. All right. But uh, besides that, uh, <laughs> I'm going to stop hogging the, the microphone and I'm going to pass it to uh, Medivac. Here you go. Why, why thank you, sir. There we go. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Medivac and I'm still waiting for my takeaway to arrive. Oh, I and, thought... <laughs> uh, No, 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 no. We're in the UK. They did it at their own time. Not our time, at their own time. Um, I, I play James Minsk. He's quite the opposite of. Um, Oh, brain <laughs> Here we go. Let's start as a means just thinking about on. food. Are you just thinking about food? Uh, <laughs> I was. I was. Give us a clue. Point he, in the general direction. <laughs> he's quite the opposite of Captain Kangaroo. Uh, <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. Mr. Yeah. Hammond. Yes. Mm. Um, he, he He's more of a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> um, he, he does like to talk his way to a situation where possible. Um he, he, he's a great pilot. There we go. It's arrived. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on time. Um, sorry, I'm going to make myself for one second. Sorry. Yes. I will... I'll, I'll introduce Purdy and come back to me. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> what I'll do. I will eat, I will talk about Purdy and then we can go back to Medivac. His, his food has just arrived. Um, so, yeah, so the party are also accompanied by a medical robot um, called Purdy. She is a robot rather than an android, but she is well versed in anything to do with um, biology, medicine, first aid. And after the last adventure, she is gaining quite uh, an interesting view on politics and loves to share everything all the time with um, all the party. She's very fond of every member of the party she is the person who talks to them via their first names while well, we tend to refer to them via their surnames but she is perfect at healing people um, but also normally getting um, in a, in the way a lot of the time so I'll just start off with the synopsis uh and then uh, medivac can come in um with his lover uh, with his me... his lover <laughs> character <laughs> I, I, I can go now if you want go Le go lisa's sorting out the food though oh That's well good. done and the dog the dog's died <gasps> no she's she shut the hell up <laughs> um yeah so um i, I i'm the uh, liaison i suppose the the, the main head of the the, the group um, I, I used to be a pilot until I lost my ship through to, due to unknown circumstances. And, and one day we got back to that. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, <laughs> you just tell people it, it blew up like yeah, with a super mega bomb. High interest <laughs> loans, you know, you can't just say. Can't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn those clients. Um, Everybody actually knows apart from Minsk. Because it's today. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> I do have a lamp speeder though, and I am damn good with a lamp speeder. I can do amazing tricks. I can break people's legs with it. Mm. It's great. Um, I do have a holdout blaster, which I do favor. I don't like to use it, um, but I do if need be. Um, and I also do have a wonderful attack called the slap attack. You, <laughs> you did use your pistol, didn't you, in the last I session? I did, yeah. yeah, last session. And I'm pretty much naked while doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so with that, I shall pass. Thank you. By the way, you can all look at my beautiful body as I stand there firing my little wee pistol. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not compensating. No, I, no. I was um, playing Black Desert online, and there's a new area that's come out. And I couldn't. It was so strange because the, the main character in there is called a wiener. And A W I, <laughs> and every time it said it, I just couldn't. And then somebody came in the chat and said, "What an unfortunate name they have." <laughs> Which, but it was yeah, a wiener. Yeah, a, if you do that as a character, you get 
you get your name changed. So yeah, you want to e report it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so the party are providing um, security or safety or support for a well-known businessman um, called, fondly known as Mort, who has come to um, the planet um, Avid, the planet of Avid in the Levito system, um, which looks a little bit like Tatooine. And he's come here to hunt beasts and to track them down, kill them and take his photograph with them and then circulate it around. He's accompanied by not only his complete entourage, which are three um, black, almost like Range Rover like high tech vehicles, but also his personal assistant, who's called Lucy May. Um, the party in the first part of the session, in part two, actually um, helped Mort kill some dunkers, which were a cross between, were like reptilian ostriches, basically. Um, there was a few grenade launchers fired, and Mort was very pleased with his uh, the outcome of that. And they had then... Um, identified where um, or the general location of a ragwug, which is the next beast that Mort wants to photograph. However, before that, they decided to camp. And on the screen before you, you can see that the, the United Armour vehicles here and up here and down here, these are the black Range Rover van types things. And this um, up here is sort of like Lucy May. And this is the um, Mort's vehicle, I think. Oh, no, these, the crosses are lights. They're um, generators on the floor. And then they have long stands that are illuminating the inner part of the um, camp. Um, it is on desert, so it's sandy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, the party went to bed, really happy, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and they woke up to the screams uh, of a single woman outside. The party quickly evacuated their tent, and Minsk just um, went straight out fearless. He was flipped his. Um, um, blaster pistol or his laser pistol into his sight and then he was firing at these bugs that were about to get this woman who was running away and um, this was the woman who was completely um, covered in these bugs they are crustacean like crab like about the size of your hand with very sharp ends of their pincers that they seem to be probing into um, human bodies where they can oh in, in order to help this woman who was covered in these crab mites um, Newman emptied one of his shots from his shotgun shed, <laughs> sorry, and took down um, the swarm and the woman, it seems, um, they fell down. You can see from the um, camp that there's um, further crab mites coming in from these three directions. I'm just going to move to the uh, more prominent screen like this so you can see them all. Um, these people here are tech and they come out. This woman is running away from this. Um, Newman had just taken another shot in this general direction, trying to keep this away from this person. Hammond had sent his drones up in the air and was coming over. Or I think you had arrived at this vehicle in search of a, a fire extinguisher. OK, and that is where we lost um, contact several times now just to make life easier we're currently on combat round two okay and i'm just going to start it at one okay so um hammond you will be the first to go and you've sort of like come across to the car and then we'll just go in in the order of the um 
initiative. If you need any further information or just want to recap on anything, then then just let me know. I'm going to put the turnover order over here because there's nothing over that side. And yeah, so Hammond, um, thank you for those bits, um, Axiom. Welcome. It's lovely to see you. I can't. Thank you for the. No. Wow. Bitties. Gee, thanks for cheering your bitties at me. Thank you. Okay, then. So, um, yeah, Hammond, you are at this um, van. Um, the doors are open, and I think you're looking for a fire extinguisher. Is that correct? No, so I am. No, um, so I wanted to continue what that. Whole thing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do because I think we mentioned last time that there might not be a fire extinguisher, but there might be a like a setting on the vehicles for an extinguish setting. Yeah, you you yeah. can you can have whichever one you would prefer to have them. You know, there there's uh, ele electrical stuff. It'd probably be foam. Yeah, um, that's what I'm thinking. And, rather than and that's I just need something that's that's gonna just offset them for one second. Yeah, would you um, prefer foam or carbon dioxide? Foam. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you um you sort of like get to the um van and these. Um, women or men are sort of like coming out and you sort of like move them to one side and you quickly have um, a, a look around. You can see there's housed underneath one of, the, if you remember in the back of the vans, there's all this um, tech and sort of like housed lying horizontally underneath one of the desks. There seems to be a foam um, fire extinguisher that you can okay. grab if you wish. Um, yeah, if it's, it's a, if, if there's a fire extinguisher inside, I'll just grab it and I'm going to run towards the, the person currently being, uh, okay, engulfed yeah, engulfed. So you, um, and spray is that was that black down when you pinged? Oh, yeah, like my real hair. I, I always thought you pinged in the same color that was next to your name, not when, not when you're Arthur Hammond. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> right, that's peculiar. Um, yeah, so you um, pick it out and, you know, you just start to take the, the ring pull off it and, and you're heading um, towards the um, woman, which you'll get there at, ready for the next um, turn. Um, Minsk, you're up. What would you like to do? Hmm, I'm going to, um, with a panic in my face, well, not panic, surprise in my face, I'm going to unleash on this group here again. Okay, yeah, go for it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, sneaky shot. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <No. Ooh>. <laughs> Fumble wumble. <laughs> oh, God. I, I put a point to that. There we go. <laughs> so I don't to get it out of the way now. Jesus. Don't don't forget to um, give it um, a tick ready, a tick. Yeah, for, uh, done that. ready yes. for your um, uh, oh dear. Next thing. Um, okay. Uh, then. What, what I'm visualizing there is I see this lot down here coming out the corner of my eye as I'm trying to shoot, and I I, I move slightly, and I probably would maybe hit this woman here yeah she's <laughs> she's down on the floor um she was taken down with um newman and but hammond's very close to there uh, as you, you sort of like go across um roll roll a 1d6 and um we'll see whether or not it's odds or evens um as it comes out odds um so yeah you um fire you get distracted um by the um the person the swarm coming um up from um behind but you still release your shot um yeah roll a 1d20 for me um four let me just pull um something up on my shit i've actually assigned um purdy to the wrong um 
oh, actually, I, I can do it on there. That That's absolutely fine. Um, so, um, four, which would be, da, 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 yeah, you, um, could you do some damage for me? Certainly. <laughs> okay, Buster Pistol 1d8 plus 20. It is stunned, though, isn't it? Oh, it's Palm Blaster. No, that's right. Yeah. Oh, it's the same. Don't worry, it's the same. Is it the same? Yeah. And you sort of, like, um, blast it out. Uh, it, is it on stun damage? Yeah, I presume. Um, no, it would be on... Cause I, I, I fired... I am able to kill these things. Okay, yeah. Because I'm cauterizing. So, um, three points of damage. Yeah, and you get semi-distracted -dis um, by... Um, the the shot coming out and you actually fumble your shot and then instead of hitting anything of um, this group you actually catch this woman's leg uh, with the shot and she sort of like um, lets which, which, which woman uh, this one oh that one oh, um, she sort of like um, good job Captain uh, screams um, quickly. <laughs> and collapses to the um, floor. You were very close to the um, beetles, the crab um, mites, but yeah, unfortunately that fumble just hit her leg I instead and she fumbles to the ground. Um, Purdy, I think... Who did that? <laughs> yeah, nobody <laughs> Um Purdy, I think, Newman, you had given Purdy some instructions. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I yelled something like get out here um, or help out here or something like that. Yeah, so um, Purdy sort of like um, um, disembarks from the hover vehicle and sort of like comes up to um, you, um, and Newman, and sort of like says, oh, um, <laughs> Zach, I, I think you needed my assistance. And that brings us on to Newman's um, action. Um, for my free action, I want to say help her and like gesture or something in, in that direction. Yeah. Um, you can see um, you're all very much aware of these coming in at this angle, these in this angle, this in this angle. Yeah, I'm, I'm not as concerned with the ones over on the left as much as this top one and the one from the bottom that's coming right at us. Um, but Newman is going to trust his allies, and I'm going to shoot at the one that's coming at us from the bottom. Try and stop that. Yeah, so as Purdy comes out, you sort of like gently push it to one side and bring your um, um, shotgun to bear. Go for it. The law. Ooh. <laughs> I, I, when there's a delay, I always think it's going to be a fumble. That would have been excellent <laughs> if everybody does... <laughs> Spent their time killing the <laughs> killing their own party. No, it was all an accident. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's um, definitely um, a hit. Um, so you you'll have um, your normal um, special um, because these um, creatures don't have the ability to um, dodge or anything like that. Lucky for you. I'm not really sure there's anything I could use that isn't a critical. Um, you could just do the damage to them if that would be absolutely fine. Yeah, I don't want to do a full clip or something, so we're just gonna we're gonna do a single shot here. Okay, go for it. Do them. some damage. Sixteen would be that's not a sixteen. Ooh, it's an eight. It's an eight. But... Their natural armor is 12. Oh, bummer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, oh, that. Same. Not same. That. Hang on a minute. Let me just open this. better yeah right so this one down here is number four 
Okay, so in I've had a great experience with tonal. It's super challenging. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you getting yeah. advertisements in? Let me know. <laughs> Trying to get that commission. I have no idea what. Okay, then hang on because I'm just having um, issues with. Oh, I'll, I'll just do it on uh, this one. So yeah, they don't have a hit location at all. So they just sort of like go in with the eight. Um, so they only have one um, hit location, and I think that is number four. Uh, uh, yes, that is number four. And you've done eight points of damage, yeah? Uh, right. Yeah, so you um, fire your... Um, shotgun at it and it sort of like dissipates it you sort of like get it nice and centered and you sort of like fire it off and it hits so you notice there's a few of them that sort of like flip out left right and center you you figure you've probably taken it down by about a half um it's only half there the rest of the um Crab mites are sort of like blasted or twitching all over the um, place um, as you finish that shot. Um, right. So at that point, um, the mites move. Um, these come in. These come in. These um, come in. Um, you do notice um, all of you make an insight roll for me. Not the most insightful, though, so surprisingly. I know what is. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, so um, Minsk, from your um, ad um, vantage point where you are, you sort of like got quite a, a view around it, and you sort of like hunkered down a bit as, you, as you're firing out. And you really get the um, feeling that the um, crab mites seem to be converging. They, there seems to be some kind of uh, method uh, around their um, attack and their direction and where they're coming from. They seem to be all coming into the centre and it seems very unanimal-like. Um, that they're actually coming in from four directions. And if you remember, this one um, was actually probably came in from here and is sort of like coming uh, across. Okay, um, Hammond, you're up now on 22. Um, so this is turn two now. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to roll Extinguish Fire. Yeah, um, so you can use your action and um, douse the um, woman and the crab mites um, all, all at the same time. And you sort of like just empty it out. Um, is the idea to, to almost like suffocate the crab mites? Is that the idea? Yeah, well, the whole point is hopefully like because they're such an unnatural thing for them to experience that they might be timid at first and might like lay off for a bit. But yeah. Not, you know. Okay. I just, I'm, just, I'm looking for a second where they'll let go of her so that way I can grab her and bring her to safety. Nice. Yeah. Roll your jewelry rigging. This would be a, this would be a nice idea that you're trying to do something unusual with the, um, the canister. Um, I'm going to use my one point of luck. To re reverse that yeah and you sort of like the work. Um, spray it down and you notice that this foam starts to cover um the the crab mites some of them seem to be twitching somewhat um but once your foam sort of like spreads over them um you, they seem to be almost like being covered by it and um, just roll your um brawn roll for me okay I don't think I'm very brawny. Surprise. There we go. Oh, the suspense. No, yeah, you no. uh, reach down and you sort of like, I presume you're going to drop the extinguisher now that it's been mm -hmm. empty and you reach down and you grab a leg um, uh, on hand. It's up to you. You can have either or, but you, you 
feel it in and that's where your turn um, ends. Um, Minsk, you're up. Um, seeing what I've seen and this, this concerted attack from all directions, which seems to be a, a planned in a sense, in, in my mind, um, I'm going to use a free action just, just to, to shout, come, come over here, come to one direction. That no, sounds bad. That's good to one direction. <laughs> hey, they're, they're playing tonight. They're playing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> come, back, come over to us. It seems to be um, uh, attacking from all sides. Is this a general shout to yes. everyone or specifically to Lucy May and Mort? Or... No, this is, this is out. Okay, then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and what I'd like to do after that is, is fire again at. Those pesky little things. Oh, there. yes, yeah. Don't Come fumble on. it again. Please don't fumble it again. Oh, Ooh. do you know what? Um, can, I, can I use a point of luck and just re roll that? Please? Yeah, by all means. Oh, the luck is going down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, um, no, oh, there we go. Oh, that's miles better. Yeah, okay then. So you, you'll have a special, you can press advantage. Is, is it... I, I'm going to press advantage, yeah. Try and push them back. this one? This one or this it, one? No, it's this one here. Yeah, got you. Okay then. So um, this is what I can see. Cause I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that I, I can see them, but I don't want to shoot there in case I hit her. Oh, yeah. And I don't want to do what somebody else did last turn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> and just wipe them out. Um, yeah, yeah they, this too actually has been hit before. It has, yeah. So um, do some. Um, are you going to do a special? Did you say? Yeah, it's been. Um, um, uh, uh, oh god, no, not press advantage. No, I was going to do pin down. Oh, nice. Which, which I'm hoping it's what I did last time. It, it, it shooting at them, force them back. Yeah. If possible. Um, so you um, actually get your um, shot off and there, there doesn't seem to be a full group there uh, as it's coming along. And your next shot does the classics or like hits the ground or hits one of them. And there's a, a singe of um, fried crab meat uh, as it sort of like dissipates. And they seem to be they're twitching on the ground, but you can safely say that they're probably, that one is now um, out of it. Um, so good shot. Nice one. Um, um, Purdy um, looks around and starts to move towards um, you, um, Hammond. Um, she sees the arm that you've got um, pulled out. And she uh, immediately, she'll just um, roll her first aid skill um, just to see whether or not she can administer something. Um, yeah. And she sort of like quickly analyzes the situation and you notice that her arm comes down and sort of like um, almost like injects something um, into the arm that you were um, holding and she sort of like says over the communication, patient is stabilized. Um, yeah, and um, Newman, you're up. Um, I'm going for the same target again, the one that's going right for Hammond and Purdy. Nice one. Yeah, well, it's nice if I kill them, but uh, number four, not. Hammond might be dead. Here is my roll of the law shotgun. Ooh, it Ooh. Hits. It's a hit. It's Ooh. a hit. It's a hit. I don't need no specials. Um, well, uh, if I can use <laughs> down, I don't probably... need actually. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it would be wise. Um, but I mean, I imagine Newman's trying to just line up the shots for as many as he can, more than anything. Yeah. Um, Sounds reasonable. He's trying to kill them rather than just slow them down. Bam. Them. Yeah. Do, do... Another eight. Did you like eights? Because I got another one for you. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> nice because that is also enough to dissipate the um, the swarm. So the odd one goes off running in direction, but it looks like that swarm there um, is out of it. And so on on the next, um, these people um, run next. 
and they seem to be flocking over in in this direction. I that one. She's covered in the the statue. Oh, that woman. Because she's on the wrong leg. <gasps> she was on the map player. So these are all sort of like um coming over um to you all. Um this sort of like um this um follows it on. This one um attacks the um woman um on the um on the ground will do some um, damage. Uh, they have a wonderful um, attack called um, Frenzy Eating, uh, which I need to roll just to make sure they don't fumble, but they don't. And then they do take note. Their attack is hundreds of bites. Oh, I don't believe that. Uh, so they do um, one point of damage um which is strange because they have a damage modifier of 1d4 so i'm not sure how they are i know what happened um it just says d4 instead of 1d4 in the damage but i'll take one in in any case so this um you can see that they're all over and they're going eh, 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 with their pincers and she's sort of like screaming and um thrashing um on the ground um, do you guys have your um, endurance um, set up for how much fat when you take fatigue? Mm. Where would you see that? Um, you would. It's it's actually your um, constitution in um, seconds rounded up. Right. I think. Um, well, we'll look at it for, for next uh, time. And so we will go into combat round three and um, turn one. Um, Hammond, you're there. Mm. Um, um, Purdy has injected this woman with some kind of um, stabilizing unit. Um, the canister's on the ground and you can see these people sort of like coming around. It almost like looks like they're flocking to you with your normal mm. magnetic personality. Um, but you can also see in quick pursuit, um, this swarm is coming in and this woman is covered with a whole load of them. Yeah, what would you like to do? Um, I'm going to see if I can... I might have to try brawn. I, I, I probably won't be able to do it by myself, but I'm going to try to pull the woman away from the swarm that's right next to me towards this vehicle. Uh, so say again, which woman are you pulling away? This one right here. Okay, yeah. So, so um, draw your, um, roll your brawn. And let's, Ugh. it can be easy now. It won't be hard, don't we? Standard, because she's stop thrashing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so you sort of like um, drag her out. Let me just move you all a bit. So she's there um, like this. I'm going. Is, to... is it? Could I do a free action as well, shouting something? Um, yeah. For this, for this round, and yes. Yeah. So, yeah, go for it. This. I'm just putting a cross yeah. on this because it's underneath all the foam at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Get into your vehicles. Yeah, um, nice one. Okay, then. Um, Minsk, you're up. Right. So. <clears throat> yeah, you're, you're, you're not in the best position. <laughs> at the no, uh, but what I'd like to do is try to adjust my aim to try to get a shot at this one here. Oh, yeah. Well, try not to hit the woman. Yeah, okay then. So, um, fire, they're actually over her. Mm. So, I, so I, I, I'd like to, you know, when, when you see those tricks of people shooting cigarettes and things out of people's mouths? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm going to do that. So, uh, first of all, what's the um, range of your um, gun first? Um, I am. Um, range is 10, 30, 120. Um, so are you in um, short range where you are at the moment? Uh, yes, for my pistol. Okay, then. So that is, you're in close range then, yeah? 
Yep. So you can actually use choose location as a a special, okay, mm. within that range bracket. So what I'm going to say to you is that you roll, okay, if you hit, then you use this choose yeah, location perfect. and yeah. you actually blast the crabs. If you miss, you're going to hit some of the woman or some of the damage is going to go through to her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So off you go. Let's see. See how good you are with this sneaky uh, shot. <laughs> um, are you going to luck it? I'm going to luck it. I really am. Uh, because I don't want, we don't want anybody to... else to hit <laughs> another woman. So, uh, right, here we go again. Oh, oh no. No, so close. Okay, okay. So do some damage for me. Um, yeah, this this one, oh, I've run out of ammo. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> How many shots does your no, I haven't. have? No, he has. <laughs> oh, oh, my it... God, why a seven? Seven? Shoot good. Wow. And it's it's yeah. cauterizing. Yes, it's on, it's on, I will burn through your skin. Yeah, so you sort of like fire um, off and you seem to hit the th the writhing body of of technician and mite crabs all at the, the same time. And there's there's definitely um, a, a, a yell um, and a, a, a singe. Um, and yes, yeah, so let me yeah. just... Under my breath, you might hear, no witnesses. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> no witnesses. No witnesses. <laughs> Nobody's lucky. Um, Is that to Newman or? Because <laughs> Newman's number, the only one uh, near you. Yes. <laughs> You're telling the law guy. Yeah. No witnesses. Killing all witnesses. Okay then, and um, Purdy is looking after this um, girl that you've pulled out, um, Hammond, and um, Newman. Well, I think. I think Minsk uh, has that pile of <laughs> mites under control. I'd like to use my free action um, to yell at everybody to get out of the way while I move towards that pile. Because I want to like get them out of the way so I can get a clear shot at the pile that's right here. Okay, then. So um, they move after you. Yeah. Um, um, so... And I figured my move action would use up some of my... Yeah. So whereabouts do you want to move to? Ideally, I'd like for them to move so that I could be right here or something. Well, I um, think you're going to have to move for their positions. So you could move down here because, or you can just plow oh, into them idea. and expect, you know, hopefully they move around you, which they're likely to do. I was right here. What am I doing? Um, so yeah, you can. No, actually... I, I like going around, actually. It, it, that, that, that seems like a better idea than just trying to shove my way through them. It, I will say, um, however, that remember this is heading in that direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So barging into them would put you into um, line of attack by the swarm. Yeah, but we're uh, we're PCs. We're not going to get to that swarm. What are we talking about? Um. If I if I move down to here, would I would that be my entire action? Yeah, well, that how far is that movement of your move? Uh, good question. That's it's about five meters, and my movement is walk six, run twenty, sprint thirty-five. Okay, then. So you can dash down there and fire off a shot, but it will be hard. Yeah, I'll take that. Because you're you're running, so you sort of yeah. like dash down here. So put you where you uh, you sort of like come round this person. And this this technician looks a little bit worried as Newman piles towards her um, with his <laughs> shotgun, and then you come round and you level it off. Yeah, hard. Here we go. How Here we go? How good is the law? It's perfect. It's not. I could die. <laughs> um, How much more can this woman up here take? Uh, I, 
I'll, I'll use a point of luck to reroll. Go for it. Um, as I said, the law is perfect. <laughs> it's still not perfect. Um, so you release the the shot, and it does fire off. But you either long or short, probably short, and it sort of like wax into here, and there's a whole load of um, sand that comes up into the face of the um, technicians, and they <laughs> they sort of like um, back up to um, you, um, Hammond, but they can go no further as this um, swarm um, attacks them. Swarm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, it, yeah, it, <sighs> it goes in. Um, so I'm actually going to, on the crit, I'm going to do max damage. Um, as my crypt. So it's normally 1d4 plus they have a damage modifier of 1d4, but max damage, remember, doesn't, it only does the attack max damage. The damage modifier has to be rolled, okay, because it's only one dice. So if you've got two d8s and you do max damage, you only do one of your d8s is eight, and then you roll the, the others um yes yeah, so that would be so i just need to roll i'm just going to roll this one d um four here oh nice four um so that would be four plus four that would be eight and i'm going to split it um between these um two um so they each one of them is going to um take some um body um, damage to you and you can see that the swarms and um, Hammond from where you are you can see that they they stagger back and the the spider crabs um sorry the um, crab might start to scale up their um legs and they're sort of like screaming and and thrashing uh around um I just need to um do a um a percentile dice roll um, their athletics, um, by the way, is 27. So they need to get 27 or a, a below. Ooh, uh, yeah. one of them one, uh, This one um, next to you manages to stay up, um, but the one down here um, falls to the, the ground and looks like she'll be perfect um, bait um, for... The um, crab mites, and yeah, um, so oh, sorry, and this one here, um, they need to, um, do some damage on this woman. Yep, yeah. they will do some damage and four points of damage um, onto the, this one. As you can see, them for where you are means that she's thrashing around, and there's a bit of blood now showing um as they go through and yeah hammond we were up to you mm, well obviously i'm still moving but as i'm pulling uh the lady back into towards safety uh towards probably this vehicle I, hopefully not well so hold that, on, i don't also yeah. sorry go ahead yeah um purdy looks like she's um busy dealing yeah. with this woman Okay, uh, no, then I, I'm gonna yeah. leave it then. So yeah, you can never and do another um, action. Um, actually, I want to see because I'm assuming uh, these ladies or men that uh, look like ladies, um, I'm assuming they're pretty decked out in uh, gear. No, correct? not at no. all. They look okay. like just like you. Um, um, did you get dressed before you came out? <laughs> No, I didn't. I didn't. Um, <laughs> I just didn't know if they were decked out or not. Well, they, they have uh, in. Have you seen Aliens, the film? Yeah. So they sort of like have um, combat T-shirts and shorts on. As if so they don't have, they don't they don't have, have any them. weapons on them? No, and no armor either. Great. Um, I'm just trying to think of... Uh... Uh, if you want some ideas, you can pull the one that's to your left if you wish to try to yeah get maybe out the way i want maybe throw her to safety um maybe can i throw her 
this way. Okay, so if you want to just yank her, that would be a yeah. brawn skill. And she's not heavy. It's not going to be opposed, but she is thrashing around. If you want to physically take her down, you know, mm -hmm. or yeah, uh, yeah. then that would be an unarmed roll. So it's a no, I'm going to do the brawn, I guess. Yeah, um, go for it. But it's not going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, so you sort of like try to tug her and she sort of like flails around as these crab mites are crawling up her, her body. And she sort of like flails and you sort of like grab her for a minute, but she she releases um, herself. She, she seems to be more in a state of panic rather than yeah, yeah. anything else, which is hindering your... Um, your gallant rescue significantly. Um, Minsk, you're up. Yeah. Um, seeing that my weapon really isn't helping that much, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to do the, the, the same thing. I'm going to move to here and hopefully pull this, this woman here out yeah. of the way. So you sort of like, um, were you lying on the ground or were you kneeling up? I can't remember. No, I, I was just crouched. In fact, was I even crouching? Don't but, um, can't no. So you sort of like dash across to her. Yeah, put hmm. use your brawn. If it's possible. Yeah. Or if you wish, you can rugby tackle her down to the ground. That would be unarmed combat. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just I just like the way you're thinking about it. I could build a shield of people. <laughs> mm. So it's either pull her backwards towards you or go straight in rugby tackler down to the ground. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna. There's not much in it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna literally just <laughs> pull her. Okay, pull her then. Back. yeah, go for it, Brawnwell. Oh, behave. <laughs> um, Oh no, I was oh, laughing at your brawn. <laughs> oh, no. it, his heart's in it, but his body is it's not in not. it. not. You oh, know, no. and you sort of like come up and you grab. I'm like, look. You, are look. you using luck, by the way? No. No. Um, so you sort of like run up and you grab her hand, and this woman sort of like panics a bit and pulls her arm um, out um, for you. You don't get that full grip. Um, Purdy is busy um, providing medical attention, and yet yeah, um, Zach um, Newman, we're up to you. So you can see this woman is upright. This woman is down on the floor. This swarm seems like it's probably going to go for the woman on the ground, um, since this woman is flailing all over the place. Hammond has tried to pull her out. And this poor woman is still covered in crab mites uh, and everything like that. Um, the the swarm that's attacking the two technicians is it how it appears? It's sort of half on them, half on yeah, the ground. Yeah, it's sort of like okay. gathering round it, their feet. So it's sort of like up. Um, this one, it's sort of like up to sort of like her knees and thighs, and this one, she's fallen down so she's sort of like trying to scramble away but they're they're crawling up so you, you do have a, a bit of a safety shot um so but you would have to hit yeah and as i said a moment ago the law is always accurate and that's what i'm gonna do okay time to destroy Ooh! Whoa! <laughs> did, did I not say? <laughs> Damn! You called that one. <laughs> so if each you... pellet hits a single. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They fought the law, and the law yeah. worked. Well, yeah. So yeah. For people watching the stream, you can see there that there's a little star by each roll, and that means that it's a critical hit. So it's been a, a, a critical <laughs> the, hit. The best roll of the night, actually. Yeah, it's a little star <laughs> in this stream. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, well, do do some... Um, well, you could do max damage um, if you wish. Yes, but there's also uh, over-penetration that might 
logically work better <laughs> who here. Who giggled? Who giggled? I knew somebody was going to giggle. That's why I looked away. <laughs> you guys are just... I think someone's in my room. I don't know. Because <laughs> it says, if shooting a uh, linearly positioned opponents or into a densely packed group, this special effect allows the shot to travel completely through the first victim to strike the second behind them. I don't nice. know if that would really apply here, but that's sort of what I Newman would be going sounds... for. Yeah, I was just um, trying to find the description of the special so I could read it. Is, is that I, what, what is it, Sai? Um, over penetration, I can put it in our group chat um, or I'll just post it in the, the rule 20. No, that was horrible. I should not have done that. Yeah, keep it G. Uh, yeah, it okay then. So that's absolutely fine. So you can use that to, uh, okay, we, we've got some, um, resemblance now so now i can just work on everything else and then what i'll do is that we'll i'll restart the nvidia um thing when we are um ready again um yes yeah, so you've got this wonderful dice roll um that was a crit and yeah you that allowed you to over penetrate which sounds so wrong but never mind we're, we're going to go for it and yeah Better under penetrating you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah so do some um damage um for me that would be um fantastic 11. ouch so time to shred yeah so that actually <laughs> goes um through um one of the that is uh fantastic um damage okay then so that actually goes um hits the swarm that's what we're going to um get it to do and how much damage did you say um 11 uh, which one's that number three which has been hit before um i think you shot it at last one didn't you um which it sort of like hits it and it's basically dispersed there's um there's a few things twitching on the woman a bit going around but apart from that it, it looks like it it's been um nicely diverted uh, and that's it and uh, what i'm going to say um is that oh no let me so at this point at this point something happens okay and i would like you all please to roll your um combat skill um which is your take cover um so it's the same as oh no actually use your evade Let, let's roll evade because that'll be mm. because you're just trying to um avoid something so roll every one of you roll your evade skill now uh, just say that little is, is it guilt <laughs> am i trying to avoid guilt for allowing people to die <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, I, I, <laughs> can, can I use conceal? i'm very guilty now <laughs> say again sorry can i use conceal no <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, conceal my uh, guilt. oh come on please oh oh no oh so um, close. Is anybody is anybody looking? Um, you know uh, what? If, if nobody's looking, can I can I change mine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I, can. <laughs> I don't like to be hit with things. So yes, I am. Um, just to let you know, uh, Mince, um, because of your distance away from it, this is an easy roll. So you've actually um, succeeded. Um, he likes to be more than you two. Yeah, <laughs> so you you have succeeded in it, but um, Hammond, you can roll. Uh, you as a point of look and take it to O nine, which means yeah. it'll be um, fine. Um, Newman, actually, you know what? I'm I am going to use a point of luck here. Let's just, let's just see if the law can protect me. Brings me down, and here's my evade. If it comes up be critical higher. now, it'd be this. Oh, no. 
yeah, okay then. And um, you're sort of like all in combat and you hear this shotgun go off and dissipates this um, this swarm underneath the ground. And, and Minsk, you hear it first. You hear Mort uh, <laughs> muttering something like, you dirty rat or something like that, you dirty crabs. And then just as you turn round, you see him um, here and he levels off um, his grenade launcher that has taken him up to now to actually get out and load. And he fires it in at full belt at this swarm that is um, covering this technician um here so this does um 3d8 worth of damage yeah and he's all like blasts it out and it comes out and it hits um straight on and if you manage to um make your evade roll you manage to duck down or move to one side means you manage to get behind purdy um as a, a whole load of what appears to be um freshly roasted crab meat and probably bits of human um splatter out um from this um, general area it's a grenade shot that lands in it's almost like a like a rocket launcher sort of thing and it's all like goes in and it blows this up um completely there's actually a a crater left and the woman down and some giblets. Uh, yeah this woman is seems to be covered um uh, because she couldn't um uh, move out the way you notice that purdy is a showered with various um crab meat and human entrails and bodies and um newman you take um quite a uh, you you probably step to one side and throw this woman to one side and so like take it um as it hammond and mince you manage to avoid it and yeah there's this um this silence um comes after the um after the grenade um, goes off and then there's a and then silence comes and it, everything's very quiet and then you you just hear more say got them um like uh, that i'm going to kill him <laughs> remember he's paying you and no, he, no, he <laughs> already paid us we could, we could just take the vehicle <laughs> Oh, so Unless there's gonna be a bonus at the end. Lucy May says, "Fantastic shot, Mort!" Mort. Um, and she sort of like looks over in your general direction and sort of like says, "You should take your look at how Mort dealt with those. They are dead crab meat." And Pur so is one of his. Uh, Purdy, uh, Purdy turns round. Um, to um, you three and says was it there was a life sign there that was not um, crustacean mm -hmm. sad yeah. to say there's no life signs now we're not going to be complaining about any of our mistakes <laughs> that's rather unfortunate I can't um, stabilise anything since there's there's nothing there. And you, you look down at the woman um, who's sort of like covered in foam, um, but mm. she um, seems to have... Can you roll a 1d20, um, Newman? Let's see where you actually hit. Well, you'll, you'll have a hit location. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good, you did a good roll there. Oh. Um, that's a leg, isn't it? Yeah, that's the right leg. Yeah, and you you sort of like see that um, this technician on the ground has virtually no um, leg from sort of like mid thigh down, and you notice that she's unconscious, um, but um, 
Purdy has cauterized the blood. She's stabilized this, uh, the um, serious wound. Uh, she's lost a leg, but um, she's covered in foam and um, she seems to be stabilized. She's not drawing, she's not leaking out any blood or anything like that at the present moment in time. She seems to be um, fine. Um, and, but Purdy does comment that she sort of like says that, you know, she needs to get her into one of the vans probably. And, and more sort of like says, don't worry, we have top, cl we have top class medical gear here. Um, this, this woman, um, is whimpering on the ground. She seems to be having a whole load of, um, almost like her hypodermic syringe marks um, all over her. Um, this woman um, just falls into your arms, um, Minsk. And so I goes, oh! And so like buries her head. Um, actually, uh, could, uh, uh, hang on. It could be a bloke. Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's a girl. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's so sort of like, <laughs> <there. laughs> yeah. and she's sort of like uh, the um, she sort of like um, consoles herself, uh, at, you know, and looks around at these um, crab, um, these bits of crab meat all, all over the place, and. Um, Mort sort of like um, comes up to you. He's he's holding his grenade launcher sort of like over the back of his shoulder. Does that make sense? Holding on to the handle. And he sort of like comes up. He says, good work, gentlemen. Good work. Thanks. Thank you. No worries. Rich. Did you see did you see me take out that swarm? And your own guard. Fantastic. Oh. Guard? Technician. Yes. Somewhere in that pit is the entrails of your own guard. Uh, he sort of like looks over and say, Lucy Meg. And he, she sort of like comes um, toddling over and she's, he says, could you do an infantry check on guards, please? And she says, oh, yes, 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 straight away. And she, she goes um, r rushing off and... Um, it more sort of like looks around and says, well, what are these blighters then? They're dead. I can see they're dead. Pesky, um, pesky little crabs they are. Look at those pincers on them. They're almost like probing needles. Safely say, I've never seen them before. Um, Hammond, perhaps you could have a look at a database if, they, mm, if you've got anything. Yeah. Else. Hammond has a research skill, does he not? Yeah, he does. Yeah, there's. you can get to a, a terminal, probably uplink yeah. to the starship uh, as well. That's hovering over synchronized orbit with you. Well, I'm assuming I have it. I have it. Whatever I connect with my, my drones, yeah, I probably you, have. Yeah, you have a personal computer that goes yeah. onto your wrist, I th on, like a VAM brace. Yeah, well, your research yeah. skill. Super cool. Um, okay, hold on a second. And then I will roll my research, and it will turn out to be a 98. Oh, oh close. Um, close. Yeah. Close. Um, it, would be, I don't know. it would be easy because you're connected to a starship, but that doesn't ha ha yeah. help you uh, at, at all. And more sort of like uh, Lucy May says, comes running over, and she says, apart from the one that has a leg missing... Mort, this one has a leg missing. Shall I class that as a full one or part of one? And Mort looks there. I said, oh, she's mostly there. Say a full one. And she sort of like um, turns the data pad to Mort. And he goes, ah, let me see that. And he taps it a few times and hands it back to Lucy May. And Lucy May looks at it a bit puzzled. And she says, all accounted for, Mort. They all are accounted for, apart from this um, rather um, one that's lost a leg. But everyone else, we have a full complement of um, technicians with us. There, see? Yeah, good shot that was. Good shot. He looks at you, Newman. He says, Newman, you got 
something just here. It grab me. Now, yeah. I'm fine with the blood of my enemies being on my face. Uh, yeah, it looks a bit um, crabby. I I would um, get get it um, washed off. So, do we know what these things are? Sorry, what these things were? I have to do some more research, but I'm assuming they are just local wildlife. Local wildlife. Yeah. Well, I, I think. What do do we leave them here? Uh, I might take one little dead one with me just to kind of share. Maybe I can use it for my research. Yeah, but... It's sort of like a size of a hand. You, you can um, pick it up and look. It, it seems to be, um, it, it's sort of like carapace is all sort of like cracked and everything. It seems basically to be some kind of um, crustacean. You do mm -hmm. notice, um, do, you have, do you have a science world or anything? Um, let's see what I got. I got Sonic's knowledge. Purdy's only got medicine, astrobiology, and astrophysics. So she's not um, going to be. Um, no, oh, no hang on. Specific. She has a research skill. Oh, okay. 80, 61. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Um, Purdy sort of like. Um, when Mort says, What what are these things? Hammond says, I was just about it. And Purdy says, these were indigenous to this planet, and they are crab mites. Apparently, they are sightless, and they are they seem to operate on vibrations alone. Um, they seem to be attracted to vibrations. Hmm. Um, with that knowledge, can I search in this area where they all seem to be converging towards? I want to see if I see anything in the sand. Yeah, um, you could go over. Roll, roll your perception skill. See if there's anything outside of just us moving? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Woo. Your roles I don't see anything. Are no, so they're, they're, old they, point. He moves, he moves a huge thumper out of the way. <laughs> yeah. to have a look at the ground and you can't see a thing. <laughs> uh, P Purdy turns around to you, Minsk, and says, I, I think they were probably attracted to the vibrating um, power that oh, the was... Generators. The generators that were powering the light, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, that's, and that's that a good sense. idea, Purdy. That sort of like makes sense from the direction they were coming in at. Mm. Plus, the GM said several times when you went to see, all you could hear is a soft vibration. Or... Of the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, little hobbit. <laughs> and then, what what was happening then? Because people were moving around and running left, right, and center, they were just honing in uh, on that and um, you'll Got be it. you'll be pleased to know that the uh, woman that you sh accidentally shot a leg off um she has no um memory of that she will be stabilized they put her into one of the vans and she actually um uh, purdy keeps an eye on her for the the rest of the um trip and and, and apparently the woman that i shot twice doesn't exist <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And yeah. do you want? Does anybody want to approach Mort about it, and or reapproach him? Or so I, I just want to verify. This person is just disappears. Yeah, doesn't exist. So are these people still alive right here? Yeah. So there is just now a crater, mm. Mm. and there's yeah. nobody missing out of our group. Uh, not according to Lucy May and Mort and the, the data. Yeah, I think we all can put, we don't have to really shift our knowledge too much on this one. Um, wait, 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 hold up. Purdy, can you find <laughs> any human remains to analyze them for genetics or some science thing? Um, she sort of like looks <laughs> up and down you, Newman, and says, you seem to have some blood splatter. Is that your own, Newman? Oh, no, it is not. Your your life signs are quite normal. Well, slightly elevated, I can see. 
but not as elevated as Mr. Hammond's. Um, Arthur, you really need to watch your cholesterol in these situations. I do worry I understand. about understand. Thank you very much, Purdy. There's more things to take to care about right now. And yeah, she can analyze any sample that's on you. Um, okay. For take, any... take the blood from my shirt then, Purdy. Figure out who this person was. Yeah, Do well, she, she sort of like takes a few samples from around your body and she'll get, um, she can't do it here. Um, that requires a little bit more time and energy and equipment, but she can probably do it once you get back to base. <clears throat> and yeah, and you, um, the rest of the evening, if nobody else wants to do anything, um, Purdy helps anybody else who's been injured and they sort of like um, settle down and um, Mort orders the generators to be turned off for the rest of the um, night. There's not much left of it. It was about two o'clock in the morning when it happened. Um, so, you know, it, it's quite all right at the moment. You know, you it'll be sunrise pretty soon. And your um, drones that are um, surveying the area, Hammond, they don't register any more um, mm. infrared systems or anything um, like that. The lady in the red that I pulled out, um, she's I do the want one to approach with the, her. That's the one with half a leg. She's half a leg, all right. And so Purdy stabilized her and she's receiving medical attention in one of the vehicles. But you can still go to her if you wish. Yeah, yeah, if she's if she's conscious. Um, she, she's not conscious. Oh, okay. She probably won't be conscious for the rest of the trip. Got it. But if you want, like to leave a message with her, you can scroll something down. Or just lean over her creepily. <laughs> I'll, I'll oh, what? Well, sorry. <laughs> lean over her creepily. Yeah. <laughs> I see dead people. <laughs> I'm like a charming I, prince. You belong to me now. I, <laughs> saved I saved you. You're my wife now. Yeah, I'm your wife. <laughs> so, yeah, so you sort of like... Um, settle back down for uh, the rest of the night and that'll be a golden time for us to um, take a quick break while I reset everything and download these stupid drivers that seem to be happening every... Let me just... Drivers. Yeah, GeForce Game Ready f version game drivers. Does that mean I need to install them or have they done it? Did you click install last time when you did it, or just download? Um, because it's a two-step process with the with the video drivers. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's saying now that it, I have the up-to-date version of it. Oh right, we're we're just going to risk it. I'm not going to. We're, we're, we're currently live and we'll see how it goes and then we go. But I'm on my gaming setup now, so everything's sort of like a lot more stable because it's been like, it's been fine for the rest of the day. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back at quarter two, so go and grab yourself a coffee, snacks, etc. And we will see you in, um, yeah, 15 minutes or thereabouts. Okay, see you soon. Right, let me just do this. Uh, 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 AFK there. Going back um, live, hopefully. It's been stable over the, um, um, the hot... I'm just making sure that I've got you all in the small one as well. Yeah, roughly. Captain's a little bit out of position, but that's it. Yeah. Do you know, that was really good, actually, because you actually wiggled as I moved. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was. I, I have to admit that Star was pretty good. And can I just say, because uh, we were talking about it earlier on, so... I've got an Instagram reel, okay then, so like a TikTok video, and it, it's currently at 123,000 views. Really? It, yeah. So That's really good. at the end of the gaming session, my stream this afternoon, it was 117,000. 
So it's gone up 6,000 just between my stream finishing at six and me looking at break time. But do you want... Is it a cat playing a piano? No. And no. Do, do you know, it? what it is, is me with one of these things over my head. I don't know if you've seen them. And I, it says, what age will you get married? And then it goes, da, 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 and I sort of like dance a bit and it comes up 68 and I go... And that's it. <laughs> 123,000 views. Oh, my God. There's like, like 826 likes. And you want to know what's <laughs> most annoying about it? I couldn't replicate it even if I tried. <laughs> do, do you know? I, I have no idea why. Yeah. It's yeah. done that much. You know? Uh, I must admit, I, uh, years ago, I did a... Um, there's this thing on Facebook saying, oh, what's going on in, going on in Nairsborough? Yeah. And I did this photo of Nairsborough, uh, the, the, the centre of Nairsborough, with Godzilla coming over it. And I got like 1,200 likes on it. And I'm yeah. like, oh, my God, it's brilliant. You know, And but again, same thing. I've never been able to do that again. No, well, <laughs> so, I'm actually... Um, nowhere I'm, near your 120... Well, I just, I just don't understand. I don't understand. And I'm actually making another reel that says, at the end of it, I say, I'm going to be needing some antibiotics because I think I'm going viral. <laughs> 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 I think that's a, that's sure. a good one. I, I that's think... a good one. <laughs> no, that's that's right. all right. Yeah. I just need to do that before you do it. Yeah, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> okay, it's so um, let me, I'm just going to move you away from the crash site onto um, um, this um, screen. Can you all see that one now with yes. the, and so I don't know why Hammond is so small on that screen, but I'll move you around a bit so you'll like. Cold night. Cold <laughs> Okay, so uh, I don't know how to what to respond to that, so I'm just going to move quietly on. Okay, then. Put your hands in your pocket. Yes. <laughs> so the next morning dawns, and there, um, when you sort of like come round and sort of like wake up, etc. Your um, drones, Hammond, report no. Um, contact during the night um at all with um anything there seems to be no other creature around or anything like that and um, you do notice that there's been some alteration um in the camp you notice that um there's still a lot of bits of crab um lying around but you definitely notice that the the crater has been filled in OK, so there, there's definitely been some digging and some movement. You can still see where it was, um, but you think you can only tell that because you know it was there. A, a passerby, you don't think, would have noticed anything. Um, the other thing that you notice is that there seems to be um, people are up and about and they're bringing you food and hot coffee and things like that. But And there's a cooked breakfast of soya, um, some kind of soya protein sausages and things. Um, but you do notice that there's quite a, a hush around the camp. Um, no, nobody seems to be talking that much. Well, and matter of fact, the only person who seems to be talking is Mort. And people are sort of like gathered around that central area where the um, synthetic um, campfire was. And they all seem to be down eating their um, food. And Mort seems to be regaling them with um, talks of his, um, his escapades in the past and when he killed so-and-so and so-and-so and killed so-and-so and so-and-so and this, that and the other. And... He sort of like um, laughs out loud now again. And he's he seems to be preaching to the crowd, but the crowd are not responding um, at all. And there's definitely a hushed tone 
Um, Purdy reports in saying that the um, woman with half a leg um, would be fine. She's currently sedated and will be for the rest of the trip. Um, but uh, she's absolutely fine, Newman. Um, she's minus one leg, well, half of a leg, but she she's fine oh, at the know. moment. If one of these technicians comes across to us uh, or, or, or to myself, I'd like to just quietly just beckon her in and say, what was your friend's name that, that we who we lost last night? Uh, yeah, so roll, roll your influence role. Mm. Um, you, do you want to do this around the campfire or somewhere else? No, just um, I'm assuming we're maybe set a little bit away rather than the, on, on top okay, of the I won't want to be on a campfire listening to this yeah. bottle going on. Um, so you can probably mm. mort talking very loud um, in any case. Yeah, so roll your um, um, influence skill for me. Oh, for God's sake. What on earth are you... <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I'm feeling quite emotional about what's happened, so I'm going to use a, a point of luck. Yeah, and we reverse and re, re, it. And oh, yeah, and reverse it, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that'll give you 69, won't it, which would be uh, fine. Hey. Yeah, she's nice. sort of... <laughs> <laughs> There's all... <laughs> So she sort of like comes over and hands you this thing. And yeah, well, what do you say? Sorry, Minsk. Um, I'm, I'm sorry about what happened uh, last. Um, what was your friend's name? Yeah, she starts off when you sort of like say, I'm sorry, what happened? She sort of like replies to that bit and sort of like says, Oh, don't, don't, don't worry about it, sir. You know, wild beasts do attack people in the. Um, in the desert and you sort of like say oh, what is her name and she she looks quite shocked and you also notice that as soon as you say it she quickly looks at Mort and and then back at you and she sort of like signals um with her eyes does that make sense what she's yeah. as if she's sort of like saying mm. And she sort of like looks and then looks back and look, signals with her eyes, and then she says, ah, "I am not. I am not too sure what you what you mean, sir. Would you uh, like another sausage? I, I would indeed. <laughs> that, that would be lovely. And and yes, I I, I understand. Um, I I just wish to maybe we could offer something to to her family. It, it, Yes, so you can have more bacon as well. I, I will do. Yes. So. Yeah, and she sort of like and, and, slaps. And, I'll, and, and, and I, will, I will, I will perhaps another time. Well, as she and, sort of like backs away, she sort of like she you, she gives you some more bacon and a couple more sausages, and then um, as she um, she sort of like stands up from her kneeling position that she was giving you sausages etc and you she sort of like looks at you and she smiles gently and nods her head as if she she acknowledges the the concern that you are um giving but and that understanding look yeah. that she can't say any more because she's an open con that's why yeah it? and yeah. she sort of like um backs um up mm. and goes uh, uh, about a business and as um um hammond your drones are going to have to come down and get recharged um, in the in the hover car, they probably have a docking station um, in there, so they're probably coming down. It, it's probably a good idea because we're about to start moving, and Mort yeah. gets really excited, and he sort of like comes over and says, "Morning, chaps! Would you believe we've spotted a ragwog?" Uh, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Sure. Yes, and he sort of like flips open his um, um, data pad and he has one of those roll-out screens that he just sort of like goes like that. There's no um, paper between it, but he does hold it out and you see the holographic image um, in there. And you see what's on your screen now, and this is a, a ragwug. And the reason I'm putting it on is because I want to put Purdy next to it to give you 
an idea of um, size. Um, I've just lost Purdy behind. Uh, let me just bring her to the front. And then oh hopefully... Boy. So this is sort of like the general size of a ragwug. Uh, you can actually, just so you know, there's probably enough, there's definitely enough gap between the front and the back legs for you to go between and not hit your head. You could possibly get like a, a jet bike or something like that through it even um the hair goes right way right down to the um the floor as you can see but th the majority of that is hair you know the the body on um if i was to draw on the um the the body probably sort of like goes like that if, if a bit like a wet cat yeah and you can also see that it has a huge head. And you're listening to a documentary about the ragwug. And she's sort of like, it's showing the ragwug, a holographic image. It's not a real image. And it's sort of like says, ragwugs are generally harm herbivores and they live on a variety of different mold and fungus that normally lives in small caves and the uh, more sort of like interjects says, let's hope we find one in a cave and it goes on and it sort of like says ragwugs are solitary animals but have been known to mate once one is mated then they are companions for life until one sadly dies, and in which case this, the other part of the mate will never mate again. And it goes on, it says, ragworks are indigenous to the Latvito system, the system that you're in, on the planet Avid. They live no other place within the universe. And um, Mort says, can you see why I came here now, chaps? Do you see now? This is why... And he says, oh, this, this is a good bit. This is a good bit. And it says, the ragwug is quite a passive animal, although it can and will attack if need be to protect each other or its offspring. The ragwug lowers its head and charges. Its only weaponry it has is the immense horns and its very hard forehead that it uses to as a battering ram. Oh, do you see? That's a good bit. But sorry, that's not the good bit. This is the good bit. And it says, Ragworks are a strange combination of creature, really connected probably in the evolutionary change with the aforementioned duck-billed platypus from um, planet Earth in the terror system. The ragwork quite unusually... Say again, sorry. So that place sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the the ragwork, quite unusually, does not give birth to live young. It lays an egg. The egg has a significant gestation period, and ragworks are rumoured only to lay one egg every 25 years. The actual lifespan of a ragwork is currently unknown. And Mort gets um, excited and says, let's hope we find an egg, don't you? Why, so you can I... blow it up again? Well, but no, <laughs> he says to him, and he says, no. He says, have you <clears throat> seen what they go for on the open market? I'm assuming you can buy an entire starship with it, right? Easily, easily, if not more. And he sort of like gesture. The it's a holographic image, and this um, ragwork is slowly revolving round. So you can see. He says, "See that head? That's what I want. It make a fantastic piece in my atrium. You know, walking in and seeing that, or maybe even better, above the fireplace. Yeah, of course, it would have to be gutted and stuffed." Uh, and if I can't have the old whole head, then 
maybe just the horns, that would be good. And then he ponders a while and thinks, I wonder what you can make out of its fur. Piece. And he sort of like li mm. listens and when when nobody replies, he sort of like says, maybe we can make a rug for our house, eh, Lucy May? And Lucy May does sort of like sniggers a bit and he he gets really excited and he sort of like says, you see why I bought the grenade launcher now? Oh, how are you going to make a rug if you blow it up, though? Oh, uh, well, I really only want the head. That's the only bit I want. So hopefully, you know, if I take out the body, the head will still be intact. Can I just say now, at this moment in time, no hitting the head. Agreed? No hitting the head. Or if the head hits you. Well, he says, it won't hit me. I'm far too sprightly for that, I tell you. Far too sprightly. Of course. I'll, I'll make you a deal, um, <clears throat> Mort. Oh, we're having we, deals. I like deals. We, we won't hit the head unless you hit us. Oh, he says, I, I'm a great shot. He says, I've actually brought some special ammo with me um, for this part of the journey. He sort of like looks over to his grenade launcher. And do you... Right. What kind of special ammo? He's, he look he looks over to you and he sort of like points to what appears to be um, a large box, a large crate. Um, he says, high explosive, armor piercing. A, a, like a missile? Well, he says, hopefully, it'll probably go right through the ragwug. I may have been for a side shot, you know. Small entry, large exit, boom. Hopefully blasting the head in our general direction so we don't have to carry it too far before we get it to the vans. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. I know what you're thinking. It might not fit on the vans, but don't worry. We can put it on the roof. I've got one of those contraptions things. What I was thinking... Is not that. Well, you why would, why don't be afraid just... of it, Newman. Don't worry. If you get frightened or anything, then, you know, stay behind me. I can protect you. Why not just get, like, some sort of sniper rifle so that you can just take it down in one shot? Oh. Why, why the explosives? He says, have you seen the thick hide of those of these? They're meant to be several feet thick. No, you need a real <laughs> weapon. The eye. A real, I don't want to hit the face. I want it when it's up on my wall. I don't want a one-eyed ragwug looking well, down at me. I want the full penetrating eyes. But don't they just replace the eyes with glass? No. No, he says, well, that's where you're wrong, see, because I have a taxidermist friend that can keep everything Oh, natural with inside and with clever electronics and cybernetics within their head. Do you know, did you ever get that feeling that the beast's eyes are constantly watching you? Well, with this guy with his cybernetics, guess what? They actually do follow you and gaze you, follow you around the room. I know somebody who has it in a deer and actually, you know, uh, put some surveillance cameras in there, would you believe? That's horrifying. Darth said, Moss Isley, you'll never find a more wretched hive of skill than <laughs> villainy. <laughs> He said, it isn't even from this planet. Uh, yeah, and he's all like, says, New Money, if, you, if you're worried, you know, you can stay behind me. He said, but just don't stay directly behind me. This that grenade launcher has, or missile launcher has, quite a kick when it happens. You know, right? So, so the march. Um, <clears throat> how do you expect us to approach this beast? Well, oh, behind me. Behind you. Just. <laughs> that was a Hopefully strange bit of, of accent you. came out. There. <laughs> 
Yeah, just stay behind me. As long as I've got a clear shot at it, I should be fine. Right. All right, then. Um, ooh, good luck. Yeah, we're coming we'll on stay you. behind you. And far enough behind, so the blast from your launch won't... Oh, good idea. I'll be yeah. safe, I tell you. Far, far, far behind. You. Yeah, well, not too far behind, you know. Well, enough to stay, you know, so you've got it all Yeah. Covered. Yeah, he says, I'll do it myself. He says, remember, you're here Brilliant. to protect me. But he says, I understand you don't want to cramp my style. But, no, but don't stand too far away. You know what I mean? No. Not too far away because, you know, I'll need you in to pick it up and, you know, no, take no, the that's head. Fine. Yeah. Once it's got moving, we'll, no, we'll he, he looks at you. Minsk and says, he looks at you and says, uh, maybe you bear help with that, Newman. You look more suitable for hef hefty lifting. Newman just says, I am the law. <laughs> and then Mort gets really excited because your, commun your open communications, because you've got a separate one that's just within your little hub, um, sp springs to life. The Starship over synchronized orbit radios in that mm. they've um, located a, a ragwug, um, a solitary ragwug. Um, but more importantly, the ragwug on its current trajectory seems to be heading towards um, uh, some caves within um, the, the mountains that are around Arid. And if you remember, you've been to a similar place with the facility, but also the mining village, if you remember, when in your first adventure. So, you know, just like in the picture that you're looking at, there are mountainous areas within Arid that has um, caves in. And he, he gets, Mort gets really exciting and he says, is it its nest? Is it its nest? What do you mean you can't confirm? Oh, he says, oh, I think it's a nest. He says, I think it's a nest. I think we, we can probably get there, kill it, and hopefully steal a le an egg. What do you think, chaps? Are you concerned about the missile destroying the egg, perhaps? Oh, you bet I am. He says, I don't want anything to destroy that egg. That egg will bring me riches beyond your imagination. Do you know they can actually inject some kind of chemical into it that actually halts the developmental phase of the the baby ragwug. So it's sort of like put into stasis chemically and it'll just stay like that until we inject another chemical. And, you know, I, I figure I might put it in the centre of my atrium, you know, under a glass cage or some kind of maybe, no, he says, he, he looks at your face, he says, no, that's a bad idea. What I'll do is put it deep underground so nobody can find it and put a hologram of the egg on display. See what I did there? And he nudges you, Newman. Newman is just aghast at this. <laughs> uh, right Should be fun. <clears throat> well, you go ahead and lead us and we'll go from there. Yeah, that's... You, 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 you'll notice Johnny's conversation that Minsk is just muttering to himself and then walking to his speeder. His hover car, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm just shrinking you down um, and putting you all together so I can take you on to the next uh, map. I call shotgun. Um, so, is there anything you want to say or do? Um, before you arrive at the next um, area. Yeah. Um, can I do, can I roll a research on these ragworms and then uh, I just want to see what's their nesting habits like? Yeah, um, by all means, you can... Um, roll... Specifically, like, if, like, do they typically like the nest in large... You know, caves or yeah. Is this... Roll your um, roll your research. Um, yeah, they do. They tend to find large caves mainly because they're so big, and they, if they're with uh their mate, 
they normally um, stay within the cave for the mating ritual and then the egg is laid at the back of the cave and there's stories but of course these are only stories about um, ragworks guarding the egg um, with their life um that there's nothing more uh, to get if you really want to rag work cross then you know try to steal its egg yeah i would only imagine especially if they only make one every 25 years yeah right. very, very much so all right um, i'm gonna get in the into the land speeder or whatever you want to call it um yeah. with my rest of my group but I do want to have a conversation with my captain. Yeah, um, cool. So um, the coordinates are sent down um, to you, um, Minsk, from the um, Starship in synchronized orbit with you. And there seems to be a direction. It's going to take a roughly your built-in sat nav in your car, which is quite standard, um, reports that it's going to be two to four hours journey um purdy interrupts and says um i'm sorry james your computer is not actually correct it will be um actually 3.596 hours you really should get it seen to it's getting a little bit inaccurate i will do purdy maybe i could have you look, look at it when we uh Get back oh, I, I have no uh, medical, uh, mechanical knowledge at all. I can, of course, regale you with the political um, tensions that are abounding in the local solar system if this would be beneficial for you to hear instead. Um, if if, if no, all you want to do for the next few hours is remedy the concussion I'm going to give my head bashing it in the side of this <laughs> car, then maybe. But besides that, I would wish for you to shut up again. She sort of like uh, looks and she looks at you, Newman, and says, uh, Mr. Zack, I think Arthur is having one of his turns again. I'm going to recharge and shut myself down for a moment. Please do let me know when you need me again. Yeah, and, I'll let you know when I want the talk radio on. Yes. <laughs> his, his medication are in the back if you need them. Yeah, I'll let him know. She sort of like uh, charge starts charging up, um, absorbing juice from your um, hover car. Um, she seems to be. She doesn't look like she needs a lot of recharging. I think she's just um, realizing that silence is the better part of valor at this moment in time. Um, Very she, much so. So, um, mm. yeah. So, um, Hammond, you wanted to have a talk yeah. on your private system. Yeah. 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 Uh, Captain, may I ask, and keep to mind, all of this is going to be wishful thinking, but uh, I was having a little chat about maybe something else we can try on our um, job today. Um, so, yeah, can you make sure the comms are completely off in that case? Well, I, I imagine, yeah, I was turning the comms all off. Yeah, so you... Because um, uh, we're all in the same car, right? Yeah, assume that you have um, two... Um, you have your own private channel that nobody um if um hammond has a computer skill it's probably um protected by his computer skill if anybody wanted to hack mm -hmm. into it but they're not likely to out here you hope yeah uh, yeah so yeah you're not on this you're off the main communication system yeah, yeah definitely hammond sorry go, go my friend Ojar, uh, I did a little bit of research myself, and I found that these beasts tend to um, tend to nest in in these in these kind of caves, and they nest, of course, because they're usually protecting a very valuable egg. Now, I understand that our mission is to protect our employer, but outside of that, there's not much that we uh, have to do and have to promise to do. My suggestion. If you, like the rest of us, want to con continue and explore more solar systems, maybe, just maybe, maybe we should, uh, f if we do find an egg, maybe we can keep it ourselves. Oh! <laughs> you know, and we don't really have to tell them if we find it or not. Well, now, it's going to be dangerous, but, you know. 
my my my, my thought here, Hammond. <laughs> uh, is that Arthur, you're a bad lad? <laughs> is that do you think Mort, if he was still walking around, would let us do that? Well, he's a half to know. If we separate well, ourselves no, from the rest of the group, we can find it without him. No, he did say he wanted to go and find an egg. If there was, a, if he was going to the cave, he wanted to go and find the egg in the cave. So he's, he's I gonna, love he's, it. He's, I he's love it. And kill, <laughs> he's going to try and kill this thing, and I have no intention of helping him kill this thing. I will keep him alive, but I'm not going to be helping him kill this thing. Well, he doesn't know for sure there's an egg in there. I'm pretty confident there is. Well, if there's an egg, it takes two to make an egg. It takes two. Uh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> and there might be more of the, of the uh, pride in there too. Mm. But if well, the solitary, as the the video said, um, and they only mate and go into pairs, don't they? From what I I, I listened to. Triple so I'm assuming there there'll be two of them in the cave, and maybe this one is the the mother or, or the father who's who's going out to gather food. Mm-hmm. Um, and coming back once they've, they've got enough, perhaps. I mean, this is just what I listened to on that little twerps hologram. Yeah. Um, so there's. Oh, it, why it does nobody back, like Mort? I like. Because <laughs> I'm not allowed to swear. Um, <laughs> I am. <laughs> uh, um, so we can assume, without any hesitation, if there's an egg in there, there will be another one of these in there. I, I, and that's I expect to see too. But between <laughs> me and you, Captain, there's still plenty of other people that be able to strike this thing. I think maybe this could be an agreement to, between all of us because with that, we can probably get any starship we're looking for. Plus, the supplies and, and fuel to, to get us anywhere we need to go. So this, this is, if any case, our one ticket out of here. Do you really want to, you know, give it up on the slight chance that it might go against our our noble deeds of the past? Arthur, there, there are some things I will do, and there are some things I will hesitate to do. So... And Newman's very quiet. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm not... I. I think this is a bad job we've taken, but needs go, must. Go. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not a fan, and, and I, I will kill a person, but I will not <laughs> needlessly hunt down. No, if the, if the shooting me and you, I smell that face. Uh, <laughs> if, 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 the, if somebody's coming to kill me, I would like to think I would kill them first, but we are literally hunting these animals for the sake of putting them on a pedestal. Yes, and, and that is why I don't really care about this person we're working for. Mm. No, but we we I'd like to think we would honour our contract and keep him safe. Oh, our contract is keep him alive, not to yeah. not to make sure he gets every trophy and, he needs. And perhaps if he lost his arms and legs and we could stabilise <laughs> him, put him on a van and send him back. We could rebuild job. this man. Yeah. We could... <laughs> you know, if, if this thing rolled over him, as long as we kept him alive, <laughs> it would be fine. But I, I, I don't. I, I'm just, I, I'm just. There's a possibility that that we're not going to make it through this altogether because he's a very dangerous animal. He's, he's. Yeah. Um, no, I don't. With that, with you just saying that, there are other ways to make to, to raise money for for what we need. And do you remember that 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 um that base we went to? Yes. That compound. Uh, it, it, we could perhaps do it's something lot. with that. Maybe we could um, go further into it, find out what really is in there. Because I don't think we explored it all, did we? I think we got the general gist of it, though. And honestly, if we what we found was evidence, I'm pretty confident they blew it up at this point. There's no reason to keep more evidence down there. That's already been found. Mm, I'm, I'm sure there's there's other things around. Well, besides but... that, besides uh, that endeavor, just keep an eye open. Um, and if uh, if the situation presents itself. Then maybe we can try to get an extra ticket out of here. So I'm asking, mm. all right? Yeah, uh, uh, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll take a ball what you said, Arthur. 
thank you for the talk. It's been um, eye-opening. Yes, yes, Captain. Mm. So you continued. Sorry, did Newman want to say anything? Yeah. Um, well, I don't <laughs> feel good about this. This this is a, as you said, a bad job. This I all have a seems, bad feeling about this. It all seems like something really bad going down. And after what happened last night with those weird mechanical bug things, the crab mites. Or Not whatever. to mention the the demise of his own god that he. Neglect to even mention. Um, just a little point about um, crab mites. Um, they naturally bypass armor. Well, that checks out with their needle Bash. noses or needle pinchers. Yeah, so when they hit, they automatically have a special, which is bypass armor. So, because they can find all those little Not gaps. Incredible. Yeah. yeah, you know, so... Mm. Yeah, the, the the disappearance, or if we take him at his word that there was a person who just wandered into our camp, and that that's not bothering him. If that's the truth, as he said, then that brings up the issue: Why does he have people coming into camp to do things at night? That that doesn't seem like no. The he, same he, thing. I I saw her myself. She was swarmed, and then you know maybe got nicked by another one, but. Nonetheless, his his grenade launcher obliterated her and the, the crabs over. So he's just denying it because it makes him look bad. How many people do you think he's gone through like this? Uh, who, who knows, but, I, but I'm assuming <laughs> his mission isn't to protect the people he's paid to protect them. His yeah. mission is to do what he wants because that's the kind of man he is. And Lucy May, <clears throat> Lucy May seems to be with it as well because... You, you saw when she had that pad in her hand and she was telling him about who was missing and she just passed it to him and then he fiddled around and said, nope, nobody else. I don't feel we, good we, about we, 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 Yeah, we exactly. I know, I, I, and that's the thing. is uh, this, this man, his only mission is to get these trophies. He doesn't care about us. And honestly, outside of what I agreed commitment is we shouldn't care about him so don't worry about him not getting the trophy he needs let's let's think about ourselves and why we're doing this in the first place but as long Money. as he's alive when we finish this contract that's all our job is to keep him alive mm -hmm. if we find something else besides that only benefits us in it as i go back through the contract to see what it that I just, this this is what made me Made me move out of being a enforcer of the law. Oh. It's all the corruption and uh, everything that didn't feel right, and just following through because we got a contract. Best thing at this point is just keep your eyes open and hope for the best. I suppose. Okay, so you have this chat as you move across the desert, and you can see um, it's going to take you between three to four hours to arrive at the location but pretty soon you can see out in the distance the the mountainous range that you're obviously traveling to um, Minsk your um, satnath reports that you're several days possibly weeks away from arid at the present moment in time and you seem to be every minute every second actually driving away from civilization and remember arid is the only starport um, on this planet there's no other starport anywhere else and the only part of civilization that you are aware of aware that, of, yeah. that uh, what sort of range does my speeder have my my land cruiser. oh it could go for um several weeks uh with its power don't don't worry oh, good. It, it, it'll get you there and back um with its power um of yeah. course the the sand um your hover car was made on arid so it has various um adaptations yeah. yeah and hammond's probably tinkered around with it several times if you've let right. him right to to actually um uh, arrange things so 
it's um, working at top quality. You do um, notice that you're getting closer and closer. You can see that the mountains before you, there seems to be um, what appears to be a, a huge entrance to a cave um, but when you're when you look at your sensor analysis of it via your um, any devices that you can have, it actually looks like it's not actually a cave. It looks like there was almost like two sets of mountains or um, cliffs next to each other. And there's been a cave or a, a landslide that has made the two sides come together, but actually wedge itself. And this has formed what appears to be a cave-like structure. You can clearly see huge chunks of rocks um, wedged into each other and your um, sensors um, indicate that um, there seems to be some kind of ore or mineral in the actual rock that is um, preventing you scan um, uh, anything uh, inside apart from the first um, two or three meters in and then your sensors are just bringing back static um, however, what you do get back from your um, sensors, um, if somebody has a sensor skill, um, you can roll it now and you will get more information if you're successful. Um, oh, that would be good to look. Oh, um, does my uh, sensor robot improve at all? Uh, uh, Purdy's powered down, isn't she? Your surveillance are, um, drones are down. Um, you can send them up if you wish to send out a surveillance. Um, mm -hmm. I was just saying, if that. if Mince uses a luck point, that's zero seven, which is sorry. No, I was on mute. I I, I used all my luck. Ah, oh. yeah, he's on my luck too. Oh, but now I, they I, know, I, don't they, Mr. Pickles, what it's like? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you um, you sort of like look at the sensor array and the data that's coming through. The You can't sort of like penetrate more than two or three metres at this distance. As you get closer, you might be able, But there seems to be um, organic substances within the entrance um, it's something that is not mineral. It definitely is some kind of organic um, substance that is not in a huge amount of density, but littered around. And you're about 400 metres off um, when the communication um, sets off and um, more t um, instructs everybody to... Um, park vehicles um 200 meters from the cave entrance and he, he announces um that he's going in by himself and there's a lot of affirmatives uh, that come across as a yes sir we we will send out 200 meters exactly and you know you you get closer and at that point the um, vehicles stop and just to let you know um, just to sort of like draw a quick sketch um, so you have uh, an idea of what's happening so if you imagine that this is the cave like this. So from here to here, this is the 200 meters. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what you've got is that the, the, um, there are three um, Land Rovers are parked like that. Does that make sense? So they're facing towards the um, the tunnel and the cave. And yeah, it's up to you where you would like to put your land speed at I, this point. I'd like to put it 199 metres away from the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wish um, to have it in the same orientation? Um, 
Can you move it? You you should be able to move it. Oh, look at that. Yes, I can. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. put it up oh, sort of down there. Yeah. Um, oh, can I, can I orientate it? I can. Um, I drop that should, there. there we go. Yeah, there should be a little square on a stick. There you go. Um, cool. Okay, so I'll leave Ragwug um, here. And everybody sort of like, um, sort of like, gets into position and um, you notice that some of the technicians are out of their vehicle and they're sort of like got what appears to be um, cameras, video cameras um, trailing down and um, you hear that there is um, chatter from uh, up for the starship that apparently are doing surface area scans at this point to try to pick up um, aerial shots of, of what's um, happening and there's a lot of um, chatter it's sort of like uh, Morty's approaching the thing he is at 198 meters all seems fine out here radar is clear and Mort gets rather uh, cross and says radio silence please like this and instantly you just hear as as everybody sort of like turns their radios off you you've figured there's still communication in vocal range and every now and again um you can hear people talking but he seems to be approaching by himself and um, just to so you are aware um out of each of the um vans um there is um one sort of like technician out of of every um van and they're um doing the um filming um of it um yeah well um purdy's powered down in the car um what's um what's hammond minsk and newman going to do um you guys I, go ahead first i'm, I'm gonna wake up purdy yeah um is my good first morning thing. james how are you this hush, hush, morning purdy purdy um the idiot is going into the cave alone with a rocket launcher so if you can just be quiet, just in case we need you, but I'm very well, but thank you for asking. He, he look, she looks around and she sees um, Hammond in the back and she, she says, oh, a different idiot. <laughs> definitely not the idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not the idiot. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like definitely not. <laughs> Anyways, um, actually, I'm going to exit the door and as they're all kind of distracted, up, I'm going to uh, check... You can put yourself uh, where you want to be. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm biggest thing is I kind of want to check to see if there's. Uh, I'm assuming because they're military esque SUVs. I'm assuming they have some sort of crowd control um, things. They're, I wonder maybe I can look around for uh, specifically what they call like a like a flash grenade kind of situation. Yeah, they they don't have any weaponry on them at all. You can have a look in your fire extinguishers are probably good you probably find mm -hmm. something like it they're not something that they're going to be carrying there's some nice gear in there but none of it combatant gear it seems to be more tech um surveying um equipment sensors things like that rather than anything else what about seismic sensors do they have a range of uh, radar and they their kit in there um hammond you're you know you're quite jealous of it it's probably mm -hmm. not as good as what you used to have at core but still pretty high tech pretty, right? yeah pretty high pretty, tech um, but is there any like I, I know they have sensors that's built into the car i'm just trying to figure out something i could bring with me that might help um if things get a little crazy uh so anything like a seismic detector would be a pretty good situation when it comes to Sensing when a very large your your um, animals yeah. coming through a dark tunnel. So your sensor array will pick mm -hmm. up everything like that. Okay. Uh, that's absolutely fine. And then you'll need your <sighs> your sensor skill to analyze the data. Analyze that, yeah. Um otherwise Sorry. the sensor system will do it itself. It does sort of like give you the information. Um is Purdy staying in the car or do you want her out of the car? No, she can stay in the car. Cool. <laughs> and um, so Hammond's out. Um, are you out, Minsk, or in? Or in, uh, out, half out? 
I, I, I'm in. Okay. I'm, in, I'm still sat in the seat looking at my um, array of yeah. sensors and hoping to maybe see if I can get through what's possibly there. Yeah. Is, is this where the animal's at or did they go inside the cave? No, I, it's inside. It, there's nothing okay. in between you. Yeah. Just making sure it's like, it's just well, here. <laughs> yeah, it's like, maybe, <laughs> hey, someone's distracted. Let's get me out of here. <laughs> it's not there. I just popped it out. So you can maybe see. if we hollow it out and get inside <laughs> and walk it into the cave. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Newman, whereabouts are you? Um, I'm in the car. Okay. And I, I guess I, I'm just getting my shotgun ready, um, even though I don't really think that, that, that's irrelevant. Um, I would ask uh, Captain, um, maybe this would be a good time to, I don't know, ask questions to those people. Now that Mort's down in the Crafty. In the depths. I'm happy to ask questions to the people, not ask uh, <laughs> local politics to pretty. Um, that'd be very annoying right now mm. well and also then i could have talk radio on if you were oh uh, yeah of course. if you all were out doing your your things there but yeah um that's a very good idea now that he's killed the communications hasn't he um yeah, yeah. silence everything is silent in, in mm. which case i after hearing that from from you I, I i'll be back in a moment I'll get out of the, the car and I will try to find. <laughs> Do you want to know? I thought you meant for real then. I was going to, I was just about to, you know, when you said that you'll be back in a moment. I'll be back in a moment. I, I, I thought, oh, right. See, that's how I sell a scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You... Um, I, I, I want to try to find the young lady I was speaking to earlier. Yeah. So roll, roll a 1D3 for me. And the, the top van is one, middle one's two, one nearest to you is three. So. We'll make it completely fair. A one. So in the top one, yeah. This one up, up here. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Yeah. So yeah, I'll scoot over there however long it takes. It will um, take you so. long to get over there. <laughs> She's inside the back of the van. The vans all have their sliding doors um, open and they're sort of like busy taking measurements and um, not talking to each other uh, at all, just sort of like tapping away on keyboards and things like that. Um, from where, wherever you are, you can see that Mort um, has his rocket launcher and is trying to walk um, cat-like towards the cave, um, but his sheer body weight does not allow this to happen. And he he keeps stumbling now and again. And every time he stumbles, uh, Lucy May's probably near one of the vans. She goes, <gasps> oh, like that every time he stumbles a bit. But he slowly makes his way and he keeps taking a few steps and stopping and sort of like scanning around like this. Um, yeah, uh, Minsk, what would you like to do? I'll, I'll, I'll currently just touch on, on the on the elbow. I just you know to, to get her attention. And um, remember our conversation this morning. Um, and she she looks quickly at you, and then she turns round and says, "George, could you just take over? I need to." Oh, he says, "Yeah, f f fine, May, fine, May, not a worries." And he sort of like sidles over, and she comes outside um, with you. And you notice that she um, um, pulls the um, earpiece out um, as she um, walks towards you. And she she turns to you and she says, uh, my, my, my name's May. Wonderful. I'm, I'm James May. Ple pleasure to meet you. I wish we could James have met May. Under... That's quite... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I drive cars. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no. <laughs> my name's James May. <laughs> I don't know. No, really, it, James May? That's an no. interesting. Most James, James Minsk. Um, that nice Top to... Gear reference went straight over your head, didn't it? Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Was, what? What? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Stop calling yeah. her daughter May. It may. Uh, thank you, May. I, I'm um, I'm James Minsk. It's nice to meet it, you. It, nice to meet you. James as well. How can I? And she looks around. Help you. Um, what we were talking about earlier. Um, 
do you have a name for me? It seems very, and I'll be doing this in a, in a quiet tone rather than um, talking normally, um, in more of a hushed tone. Um, her name, I, her yeah. name was Annette. Oh, oh my. Sorry, I, I didn't really ask you to my head then. Annette. Um, Annette. What do, do you know where, where she came from? Unfortunately, um, James, her personnel file has been wiped from our computers. Technically, um, she no longer exists. I, I wondered as much because he seemed very quick to um, say there was nobody there. Um, so he must have done something. Didn't you talk to her about her family, friends? We, we are um, discouraged to do anything like that, James. I need the money for this job. I can't. I've had certain things, and she looks down her body, altered, if you know what I mean. Mm. Uh, I understand. And, um, yes. So, um, well, thank you for your information you've given me. And um, if there's anything I can do to help me, then please do let us know after this. If yeah. You're, um, if you're needing work or anything after, after this mission, please do. Your, your kindness is un, unbearably nice, James. You know, in, in this world, We've all got to help each other out. You smile there. <laughs> uh, damn well, I <laughs> um, Actually, when I was doing my research on these animals before, uh, did I happen to know what the size of the eggs are? Um, they're about, ooh, about 50 centimetres, between 50 centimetres and a metre in tall, and oh, okay. about okay. Um, half a metre to a meter wide and then they're sort of like a circumf uh that's the diameter of it so they're they're substantial chunks of egg it's not sort of like a, a chicken egg it's much bigger than an ostrich egg i mean it, it. it would actually take probably three or four people to actually to lift up uh, yeah to lift a up. really big spoon yeah to eat it yeah <laughs> It'd be one of those Cadbury cream. Do you have Cadbury you. cream's egg in America? I know what it is. Um, we we kind of do sometimes, depending on the, the Easter we do. Oh yeah, so it's yeah. it's like a, a a gigantic Cadbury um, egg. Don't 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 have a Kinder egg there because they've all been recalled. Yeah, they have, haven't they? Sa mm. Salmonella. Salmonella. <laughs> Ella. Ella. <laughs> maybe <laughs> just just maybe you guys should cook your eggs. I don't know. Yeah. So as um, you're all sort of like um, chatting, um, May leaves you, um, Minsk, and um, as she um, tags, uh, she sort of like um, puts her earpiece um, back in and she sort of like um, listens um, in um, for a while. There, there does seem to be some kind of communication still up that doesn't appear to be on the main channel the main channel is completely um quiet but it's also uh, as if the group has some kind of technical um back channel in operation and you notice that um mort is just over halfway um, when he stops for a little bit longer than um, he has done in the past. And at that point, you notice that your sensors um, in across everything um, picks pick up um, um, a bleep. It picks up motion. And it seems to be coming from inside the cave. And it seems to be approaching um, extremely quickly. And just as you all um, tune in to, to what's happening, 
um, Mort lets off one of his um, grenade, his missile, and he presses the button and it goes and goes shooting out. Um, unfortunately, he's not that much of a good shot with it at all. And it hits slightly off to one side, bashing into the cliff wall and sending rocks and dust um everywhere and at that moment you see the ginormous ragwug come out of the actual um, cave entrance and I would like you all please to roll some um, initiative well obviously I'm being lazy today so we'll see if I <laughs> have the initiative to get off my ass Huh. Yeah, I rolled a one plus my initiative modifier. I'm doing good, guys. But that's because the moment Mince got out of the car, uh, the land speeder, it was Purdy. Now's the time for talk radio. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mince, what's your. And you're under. <laughs> Mince, what's your. Um, initiative? 13. 13. So yeah. you will go um, first before the rag work. Okay, then. Um, yeah. So the, the rag work. Um, seems to be in full um, charge mode. <clears throat> it's not sort of like trotting along. It's its horned head is sort of like down, and it just seems to be charging um, straight out uh, of the um, cave. Right, and at that point, Minsk, you see this happening, and you burst into action or run for the hills or what. Um, I'm going to run for my speeder, but is it yes. running towards Minsk? I say it's running towards Minsk. Is it running towards Mort, or is it coming towards us? Um, it looks like Mort might be in the path of it, but you can see oh, that no. it, its face is actually <laughs> down. You know, it's engaging it, its huge um, um, forehead and its horns, and it's just galloping. Well, yeah, it's charging. It's almost like an angry bull that's yeah. just seen, you know, something happen. Um, or maybe straight, straight it's just me. protecting something. Exactly. <clears throat> you just want to go to your car, yeah? And that's yeah, it. yeah, sorry. Obviously, yeah, it's that's just trying to protect its pride. That's all. Just its inner pride right here. Inner <laughs> <laughs> pride. Um, yes. like, like, if I've got, can, can I do more? No, that's fine. I didn't know whether or not you wanted to shout it. it. To drive <coughs> into the cave, get the egg and come back out again. <laughs> Are you starting <laughs> up your hover car? In, in, in one turn. <laughs> Easily. Yes, in one, got, uh, one action. Yeah. One action. <laughs> Actually, a free um, action. What do you want to do? <laughs> you can do all that. I don't yeah. <laughs> um, you're in your car. Do you, you can power it up. If oh, I will, I will power it up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. So you run to your car and power it up. The right. Oh, and so when I get into the car, I'd like to say, "Incoming." <laughs> um, I was assuming that Newman would have seen this uh, on talk radio. Yeah, about Newman. Uh, Newman, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have the best perception of it. Yeah. And yeah. anyway, um, this thing charges now. It doesn't look like it's stopping um, at all. Um, and it looks like Mort's um, in the way. And as um, I just need to roll, um, I need to put in, um, let me just put Mort um, into this. Um, his uh, initi his um, initiative um, uh, modifier is six, just so you know. Uh, so he's going 10, I thought he would. Um, so, yeah, this um, beast charges towards him and he, for the first time, you see him almost like frozen and he drops the missile launcher, turns round and starts to run as fast as he can towards the vehicle. Um, in a straight line. It's going to be in a straight line. Yeah, he, he's just sort of like going. And this... Um, Ragwug is charging um, be behind him 
and he sort of like keeps looking behind him and as the ragwood gets closer and closer um it looks very much that it's going to just plow into him and at the last moment mort dives over to one side and he has an evasion of um 47 just so you know <laughs> and he sort Lucky of like runs and idiot. You, you can see sweat <laughs> pouring from him and his little arms are going down and he looks at it he just dies to one side and the ragwork just doesn't follow him at all and he just with a wonderful amount of skill for his portly body he tucks and rolls and comes up almost like superhero um, style. And, yeah, the ragwork is still charging. Um, Hammond, you're up. Uh, I'm assuming it's... Uh, I don't know if you can see... Hold on, what's the best way to do it? I'm assuming the direction is... Uh, it gets essentially towards me. It, it looks like he's heading straight towards the, the vehicles, yeah. Yeah. So um, I think Hammond's smart enough to know, hey, maybe I should get out of the way. And he's going to run over here. Uh, I can't see where you... Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. He's going to run that direction. You can get into the car. The, um, the car is running if you would like to. Oh, it's running? <clears throat> yeah. Minsk has yeah. started Well, if it's up. running, yeah. If, if it started up... Oh, in, wait, which car? Um, Minsk's. Your... Oh, yeah. This yeah, car. I'll jump into it and then uh, take out. Well, if I, if I, don't, about, I don't have enough time to do anything right now, but I won't take out my blaster when I can. Just as about to like hit reverse slightly, so he misses the handle. Okay, I'm I'm yeah. taking you out of the car, um, okay. but just so you can move the car, Minsk, when you um, wish. Mm -hmm. um, Hammond, you grab into the car, um, Newman. Um. Well because I'm taking this very seriously and I'm trying to save Mort, I'm going to pick my... I'm, I'm going to go through my inventory to grab my blaster pistol instead of the shotgun on my lap. Okay. So you get your um, blaster um, pistol out and that's the end of um, the, the first turn. These technicians um, seem to be almost like hightailing it out. And we come to um, turn two. Um, yeah, I mean, just to let you know, this ragwork will actually hit these vehicles um, on its turn. That's how close it is. But you get to go first. What would you like to do? Mm, I'm going to move. I do something really stupid. And Tokyo Drift away in there? Tokyo Drift. Um, how far can I move? Let's have a look. Where's my vehicle? Uh, I think it's speed 70, wasn't it? Hmm. Which says? Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. Uh, gotcha. So I'm just double. Yeah, it's uh, size. Size 37, size 70. Where's speed? Speed zero. That can't be right. Hang on. Is that size supposed to be? Is speed supposed to be seventy and size supposed to be seven? Um, but, 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 but your speed is seventy. That's it is what 70. it is. Oh, right. Yeah. There we go. Um, right. So I'm going to move here. Here. And then I'm going to. Did we? Did, we've got a horn on this, haven't we? Say again, sorry. We've got, we've got a horn, haven't we, on this? Like um, a, a, a siren or. or... Yeah, you can, you, can, you can have one if you wish. Yes. I want to blare it as loud as I can. I'm going to go past it. Okay, so you're trying to intercept it as it charges. I, I'm, I'm trying to distract it. It, yeah. it will it will hit you as you pass in front of those cars because it's hitting those vehicles on the next turn. The, almost like the same time as you're driving past. Oh, right. Okay. 
But you okay. can try it. You can try a nifty well, drive skill and try to slide under it. Oh, it's got legs. Um, yes, in which case, for fun, and because I can take people with me, no, 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 the description, no, no, Don't the description was a speeder bike might be able yeah. to make it under, could you, not a car. Could you, could, you, could you stick out some rope and try to wrap it around its legs and go under? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, but so at you... The, um, at the same time... I'll be could you tell, can, can we get out first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do this if you want. Just, yeah, just, just get us all out first. Okay, so... We're, um, we'll, we'll just, you Hammond gets in, Newman's in, and uh, Means sort of like puts his pedal to the metal. He says, "Watch <laughs> this, guys!" As he pulls his um, hover car right. right. In mind, no look points. Okay, then. So no. this is going to be a hard skill roll to get it through. Oh, no. So roll the your. You can also just go roll this your way. pilot I know. skill. I know. I was going to until in middle suggested this. Come on, oh, get no. get through. <laughs> oh, you can easily do work. it. Easily. No, I'm not even going to look. I've turned my thing off. Oh my god. Yeah, so oh, you got look. no luck left. You you try to get <laughs> the, you try to get through Easy. the um, gap, and you you don't. You actually catch. The um, ragwug in um, full um, charge, and so your vehicle is going to take um, trampling damage. Okay. Well, if we hit it on the side, right? Uh, yeah, hit on the side. So it graze. Uh, yeah. Well, this is his. Um, so you Don't sort of like, me, but maybe go, we can twin towers this. You go in, you get wow. kicked by the back legs. Your hover car takes more than you hit again by the other legs, and you sort of like come out spinning. Um, that side, you know, and um, people, you're holding on to the old Jesus handles in inside. <laughs> <laughs> he's all like, he's, he's all like goes, eh, they go Pion! like that. He goes, bang, 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 you know. And um, Purdy says, oh my, uh, as you uh, um, go back, um, here's your damage um, coming out. Okay, yeah, so you take um, 16 um, points. So minus 10, it's going to be six. Yeah, um, so you have 10 armor, don't you? I do, yes. Yeah, so yeah. it's all like wax into your armor and you see the sides of your car um, being dented and it's all like... It's not going to buff out, is it? it, it yeah, I know. <laughs> and it, it, sets, <laughs> it sets your car into um, a spin. So you need to make for me a hard... Um, piloting skill to get in control, otherwise you're spinning. That's the same role. Like exact <laughs> same. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. and you're sort of like spinning round as it um, flies off, and the um, ragwork hits. <laughs> therefore, um, hits the first um, vehicle, and it, it didn't trip up. It sort of like goes straight um, into it and sort of like goes bash into it and it crumples the, the front of it and it it doesn't sort of like stop. The ragwood doesn't stop and it sort of like hits it and it's sort of like traveling backwards um, as the ragwood is head down going through it. And you can see people also sort of like diving out of it. And the the guy who's driving it is sort of like, like this as it just sort of like goes um, further and further until it actually catches it on um almost like it moves and catches it on an angle and it goes speeding out of control um the pilot skill is 47 no and he sort of like it goes spinning out of control and it actually topples over and lands um somewhere far away and the ragwork um continues um, to charge and so the van goes one way and then it slows down and it sort of like um, turns and at 
that moment in time, um, you're spinning and there's something, as you're spinning round in your car, just going round, you're just going horizontally, there's definitely something beeping on your sensors. And that seems to be a perfect place to stop it for tonight. So when we come back, Hammond, you will be up. Right. Okay. And so I'm assuming I turn the radio to you spin me. Right <laughs> yeah. Now, baby, right, uh, right. So when we come to you, Hammond, the the vehicle is still spinning around. You're holding on, and hopefully you put Something seat on belts on. And Minsk is trying desperately to get the car back into um, control. And yeah, that seems to be a perfect place to um, leave it um, for tonight. It definitely looks like one of mm. those speeders and one of those vans is not looking good. Uh, means you don't think it's as tough as your speeder. Um, not at all. Um, yeah. yeah so, I've done the job on the speeder. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he, he has. Yeah. So we'll, we'll leave you. Is a speeder not a battering ram? I just want to make sure. I don't think I developed a battering ram technique. On <laughs> that, you can ram. There are rules for ramming because I've just used it with the ragwood. Um, yeah. But I do you know Minsk? I think it would have looked absolutely spectacular if it had if it worked. Yeah. If it oh. worked. The, the funniest thing for me was was Hammond's and Newman's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get out? Can we get out? <laughs> Dive. Oh, God. Absolutely oh, sorry. brilliant. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry. No, it's fun. Yeah, they're spinning round. We won't make endurance checks to see who keeps their breakfast in. You know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, <laughs> I, I'm hoping you was just. I'm hoping I'm sitting right behind the captain as I project our vomit. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. So we oh, will God. leave the session there for tonight. Thank you for everybody who came along. Sorry for the. <laughs> Slight technical hitch, uh, hitch earlier on, but it seems to be in control now. I'm not switching to a different scene collection. I'm just going to keep my normal one up now. Then that's it. So, yeah, it's been brilliant. Thank you so much for coming along and joining us. We will be... So I could hear something in my ears. I don't know whether that it's static for something. It sounds as if somebody's eating something. That's what it sounds like, but it wasn't you, don't worry. Um, yeah, so do come back next Saturday or the next time we play so you'll see what happens in the spinning car as Mintz takes his hover car for a stately waltz across the sands of Arid. And the Ragwood has virtually taken out one of the Land Rover. Mar I'm sorry, Mort did a fantastic evade out of the way. But there is something else beeping on the sensor. What will it be? If you want to find out that, you can come back next time and see what actually happens. Until then, please stay safe, stay healthy, but most important, stay positive. And it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from them. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Have a good day. Yes, okay. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I'm just going to close as quickly as I can. <laughs> Have a good day. Okay. Bye.